money and sometimes a parent has struggled to uh, mass up money or pull resources together mm. to take the child to school. Now he has to, she has to spend uh, you know, a, a chunk of it trying On to move to and fro yeah. mm -hmm. and by the time she's ready to go and pay the money, mm. she doesn't have that money and exactly. the child loses the chance yeah, to, it's a, it's to go a bit to uh, frustrating. You know, it's yeah. frustrating. What yeah. is worrying is, you know mm. the parents who were at the GES, that's those who can make it to Accra. Right. Mm. And they said NIT was the designated um, information technology system, you know, place right. they could visit. And they kept going there and they also said their system was down. And yeah. my worry is, if NIT that you've designated and is down, what about those others that don't even have, you know, yeah. the interaction with you? Right. And that for me was worrying. What about those who are not in Accra? all yeah. spread across the 10 regions of mm. Ghana. You've given them only 48 hours, out yeah. of which 24 is already gone. Yeah. And seemingly within that 24, I they weren't I able I to do I anything. I think <laughs> our biggest it's very problem frustrating. in this country is internet connectivity. It is. Um, which, which is a problem we a should problem. have mm. yes. known even before yes. and back it's, it's in, I'm backing on this See, journey. Yeah. Now we want to computerize it. For example, mm. at the ports, we want to do a paperless yeah. system. It um, was the same thing it yesterday. It, it, you mm. understand. So I think that we should first of all look at the internet connectivity and how we're able to handle yeah. some of these things. It's very, I, I, very Johnny, I'm wondering. There's a fr village. The frustration um, yeah, that you have. Uh, aside calling our newsrooms, mm -hmm. people will call you because they know that you work in the <laughs> media <laughs> house <laughs> and you could behalf. possibly yeah. call the minister or somebody. Yeah. And it's, it's quite frustrating. Uh, they, they, there's a, a hamlet in my village. Mm. I'm wondering how uh, people there mm. will be able to manage this. Yeah. I don't know whether it means traveling to the, the nearest district capital. Mm. Um, maybe in there, the internet is a bit, uh, it's not a bit, it's, <laughs> it's, it's totally... Uh, uh, still still uh, paced. No, it's slower than it's new. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how to put it. <laughs> maybe it thought it's Maybe it thought it's paced. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm wondering how yeah. they're going to fix it. But I, I don't know, the, the GS will need to find a way to deal with it. It's really worrying. And it keeps coming. Almost yeah. every year that yeah. the placement are done, we, we go through the same chart. But the assurances are good mm -hmm. that every child will be placed. But let's facilitate. Uh, Even more worrying is the protocol list. Mm. Um, you know the the phenomenon of protocol mm. list. Does it work? Proto yes, I it mean works. It, it does. I mean, uh, and for the old boys yeah, and girls. Yesterday I heard some of uh, Pesco bears complaining that well, uh, some some shortage has, has come. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, in their protocol list. And they have those who are not even old boys, but for some strange reason, they get a letter to say, I go see. and push this here and go push this okay. here. So okay. Uh, Johnny, extend cubic uh, issue. Mm. I, I, I said that good and bad news. Mm. Good for government. I mean, adhering to rules and regulations, mm. making sure that the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. Right. Uh, but it, it is worrying, for instance, when the people from Exxon Cubic, uh, uh, they, they tell the whole of us, the whole Ghana that, they received two letters, mm -hmm. okay, revoking their, uh, uh, their license. The first letter that dropped at 10 a.m. has uh, uh, the, the content itself is different. The second letter in about four hours' time had a different content. So then it raises questions as to what is really happening. Mm -hmm. how, how come... A, a, a contract, a mining lease that is being revoked, would have two letters with the same date, with the same minister signing, mm. but with different content. And we're told, that's from the extinct Kibu guys, that even the law under which the mining lease was uh, uh, mm -hmm. revoked is for small-scale mining. Mm. It, it raises so much uh, 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 concern. The minister early two weeks ago has told the whole Ghana that mm -hmm. Exxon Cubic have not done anything wrong. Yeah. Exactly. They have everything intact. And then two weeks down the line, this is the situation. I saw Professor Frimpon Watin yesterday yeah. at a press conference. I wasn't happy about his, mm. his look. Mm. I don't know if there was something wrong. Yeah. Well, he said that um, this is not political witch mm. uh, which hunting. Yeah, I, mm. I, 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 bet I imagine his words. Um, I still remember his words. He says, mm. it, it, it's, it's not political witch hunting and that um, you know, clauses and articles in the Constitution have been quoted mm. and that if something has gone wrong, uh, they will take steps to... But to what has changed? I mean, I, I the whole see, minister two weeks ago see, told the whole Ghana that Exxon Cubic had yes, done everything. So I am now wondering which one they are withdrawing. Because if you said that they have not done anything wrong and that right. everything is... Then two weeks, what changed? Mm. Uh, the hidden hand, uh, the monkey hand, which is it? Maybe the tattoo's hand. Uh, I don't know. So is it that our ministers are a bit too quick to speak? Again, Maybe. we've said this over and over again. Maybe. Because, Maybe. I mean... <laughs> 
for me, it just brings down the credibility of the minister in the my whole, eyes. Because team. you came strongly and said whatever Q extinct cubic had done was legal. Right. To the best of your knowledge. Mm. So what else did you now go and find out? Yeah. What are you not telling us? What is going on in the background? You know, so if they think they would investigate these issues, then take your time. As yeah. Bright will say, hasting slowly. Right. Find see, information. Investigate and get the right information before you put it out there and just... Uh, now, Johnny, look at the front pages of the newspapers that are announcing this uh, re revocation of land. Yeah. Ghanaian Times mm -hmm. goes extend cubic mining lease. Uh, oh. The finder catches the same thing, mining lease. If yeah. you remember, Mr. Amewu told this country that yeah. government has not even given extend cubic the, a mining, the mining lease. So and that what they have is a prospecting beautiful. Uh, document. So now I, the, so that's which, the question which I was asking. That, that's the question I'm asking that if the people what? didn't mm. have a mining lease, mm. which How one are you, you revoking? Yeah. Sure, the thing that you say that people didn't have. And you are not, yes, you are revoked. So, I, I, I don't know, but uh. it began with there, as I always oh, say. No. The extinct cubic guys want to go to court. So, mm -hmm. uh, we'll follow up on that and we'll bring you some more detail. Right, but yeah. okay. uh, on that same front page, mm. uh, we're told that the NIA be will be relaunched. Re mm -hmm. um, I know that the, the, <laughs> the group that came together, put together by the vice president, headed by him, yeah. with Professor Tifua, they maintained the. Uh, the team that was used by the ex-government. Yeah, information management yes, systems. Yes, they, yeah. they maintained yeah. them. Of course, they yeah. fine-tuned a few of the things. I thought that we were told that by September, we will have... The cash would have yeah, been launched. Yes. Yeah. So now we're told... We've been the told launch is, is rather... It, is, it was on the 15th. And, and it beats my imagination because mm. we're given a timeline. The vice president called a press conference. He yeah. addressed it and all yeah. of that. So what happened? What caused the delay? Nobody is telling us we anything. We need to be told. Uh, we should be told what exactly is happening because mm. there are a lot of people and for me I'm particularly worried about the fact that we have foreigners who have access to a bad certificate mm. and the bad certificate is the base document for uh, national ID, passport and whichever it is. Yeah. So if we can have a Nigerian uh, recently arrested have three passports mm. Whereas a Ghanaian can't even get one passport. Yeah. The passport office by 6 p.m. knocks off it. Nobody <laughs> wants to talk to you. It's a great cause for worry. It is. And, and we should know. What, what is the modality mm. that if Ama um, supervises the birth of a child at the Chimota Hospital, mm. does that child get registered immediately mm -hmm. so that by 18 years we know that the child is eligible to vote and, right. and so the child gets a voter's mm -hmm. ID card if they are still alive. Uh, by mm -hmm. 25, 26, if they are not working after school, do they get some stipends? We yeah. need to start yeah. really thinking yeah. as a people. Yeah. Yeah. I have uh, I, I a national ID, thinking, so yeah. I wonder what happens to it when uh, it is relaunched. Mm. So I'm sure that I'm going to get another one. They will, they will, uh, they will knock to, it off to, yeah. to re replace yeah. it. Uh, just to be sure you are not dead, <laughs> we will have to. <laughs> you become right. a ghost. Anyway, it's so Day Heritage also says. ER has only one ambulance, and then 850 students attend pre-free SHS classes at Nungwa. Also, Mahama's lawyers hold crunch meeting as government cancels Extin Cubic's mining contract. The whole yes, of the Eastern region has only one ambulance. Emergency wrong. response <laughs> unit. <laughs> are you? Are you? Are you? Are you for sure? Mm, okay. Yes. You know, when we talk about, I'm sure they're looking mainly at the um, government owned ones okay. because that's for the Public private ones you yes want. you'd probably have them but the cost you pay the, the, the private, the private one, owned the ones. private ones you are talking about the hairs <laughs> <laughs> that also doubles as the ambulance. Yes, no. Because <laughs> the ambulance is supposed to have some things yeah, in some them. Some basic equipment. Exactly. Where, when you put the person in, you can yeah. put the person on life support and all of that. Yeah. Most of those I have seen are hearses. They are ovens <laughs> or vans. Yes, they virtually uh, are just yes, a vehicle. That have just some yeah. slide and then they put you on it. I agree. No oxygen. Nothing, even space for the nest to sometimes sit and attend to you. You know, I'm having a good laugh. You know why? No, I'm, I'm having a good laugh. I mean, me. you know, in this country, when you are not well, we rush you to the clinic yeah. in a, a, a taxi car, yeah. mm. and then when you die, we put you in a very nice ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Like, it is very I, I true. It's very okay. true. Yeah. No, so it's I'm it's not surprised true. this region has only one. Well, um, but what the story but, but actually says is that National <laughs> Ambulance Service has <laughs> stated that out of the 18 ambulance stations in the eastern region only mm. one station located at Begro is oppres operational okay. the rest have been out so, so of the order same thing. for several yeah, months yeah. oh, but, but this, it's only this, one function see, in this one. issue <laughs> about <laughs> a national ambulance being faulty mm. i remember in 2016 i had a conversation with <clears> the <throat> boss of the ambulance mm. service 
And he mentioned to me uh, what capacity of ambulances we have, mm. the ones that are not working, and what we actually need. Mm. He said it in 2016. The same year the fire service went to parliament to tell them that they can't fight fires, beyond. you know, beyond mm. the sixth floor. The same year, so many things. And sometimes it makes me think, are politicians, do they really care? No. Because when the minister is sick, when the president is sick, they ambulance. will fly and go out oh. and go and cure themselves. So that pregnant woman who may have a topic uh, pregnancy right. at... Um, Say, um, to two, 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 or any okay. place, all right. Mm. They, they don't, oh, but uh, Johnny, two, two, you're lucky. You can mm. get a taxi cab to uh, Tetequas, was but you're lucky. But mm. talk about mm. the Afram Plains, uh, part of yeah. the eastern region. I'm wondering, how are you going to get die. uh, life if you happen see, to? Uh, I mean, people uh, just don't care, they has don't serious issues, Johnny. Not to, because you see, the frustrating <coughs> part is. Is the doctor's duty to actually try and reach, or I mean, the healthcare facility, the nurses, the doctor, whoever is on duty, to try and, and you spend hours the, trying yeah. to find just that one vehicle that can even transport, and then you know, by the time the vehicle even arrives, probably your patient is gone. And you know, yeah. those are the real challenges when yeah. it comes to the ambulance system. They charge according to the National Ambulance Service. You are not mm. supposed to be charged, right. but when you call them, they say they don't have fuel. So you ask, buy fuel. Buy, so you have to pay for fuel. You ask <laughs> National Ambulance Service, they say no, they provide. But until you say you you buy fuel. No ambulance is coming to your help. Yeah. So how do you go about and these people things? People will die anyway. And I, I tell you, I tell you really what. Has how much a V8 costs? Hmm. No less than eighty-five or eighty-six thousand dollars. Johnny, you're bringing this. I issue. Know, yes, right? I'm bringing <laughs> it. One they don't ambulance that could V8. buy two ambulances. <laughs> they don't see it like that. Thousand US mm. dollars uh, for one yeah. V8 mm. for a deputy minister uh. for a minister for the vice president for the president you should see the president's fleet mm. how many of them go uh, uh, on that the vice presidents uh, the chief of staffs uh, even the IGPs the CDS mm. all of them travel, you V8. don't see that mm. do you, you don't see that when Boris Johnson came into this country mm. he was driving a modest vehicle and yet we had gone to him to go and borrow money can we start a campaign I don't know but uh, look. I, I don't know. Maybe we can start a campaign. One V8 could buy two ambulances. Maybe we can start a campaign. Let's start it. Hashtag uh, uh, now, uh, get us know, ambulances. Johnny, we know that mm. uh, whenever there is a change of government, yeah. we see uh, the new government getting new vehicles. Mm. Can we also start a campaign that anytime there's a change in government, ambulance yeah, service should get new new, mm. new vehicles? We can. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah. we should. Yeah, it's the same thing. We should. I mean, yeah. it's it, because... It's so embarrassing. If we can do that, mm. or if now we have, if we, we come to agree mm. that after every eight years there's a change in government and that the ambulance service gets mm. vehicles at the end of it, I'm sure they won't be running into problems. Yes, but right. But see? also, ambulance service has to be, you know, chastised for maintenance. Mm. Oh, it's I'm not just ambulance service, though. Of course, Ghana that police. comes You remember when <laughs> President Kufo first came into mm. power? They bought the Ghana police Peugeot vehicles. You yeah. remember? Mm. Yeah. Two types. And they bought them Toyota mm. Tundra. You remember? They did, yes. Do you Beautiful see any of them like on the streets? Not Daniel. many. I mean, Daniel. they look Do you see any of them? You actually see Go them on to the their street. Artesano their police depot. They are parked. And, they are, and, and most of their workshops. They yeah. are parked there. Yeah. Dirty and, and everything else. Yeah. And they, sometimes it's just a minor fault. Mm. The vehicles that Johnny uh, uh, picked from Medina, mm. the, uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the local government. Can we dust them and, and get them to the hospitals? At least they can serve a said, purpose. Yeah. Even if they don't have all the equipment you need in the ambulance. Yeah. If we dust them up and take mm. them to these facilities, they can mm. serve a purpose. At least. I, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Instead of keeping them over two hundred vehicles, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, over two hundred. Are they functioning? Are they still? They should. They, they should be working. Wow. But uh, look, uh, uh, yeah, you do. Let's the do the last Times one on Ghanaian Times. It says controversy over bauxite mining in Yenehin area. Extend cubic mining lease revoked. Also, MOH staff sues blood service director for accusing him of being HIV positive. Also, all qualified oh. SHS students won't be denied opportunity. And then finally, Queen Margaret II to pay state visit to Ghana. Uh, what, what kind well, of it, accusation it, is that? I know, that sounds very... <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, it's having yes. So what? So, so what? I know. It's How just does like, that affect the It's just like a typical... Blood service. It's just like DKB says... Look a typical, I can see you have yeah. <laughs> malaria. Yeah. And so... 
Yeah, ah, so yeah, malaria patient. Yeah, 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 yeah malaria yeah, patient. Right. Yeah, so from malaria. It's just like I guess a guy. I know, we're all frustrated, so we just <laughs> try <laughs> to make yes fun out of anything. Because so really, it's Mali, a hey, do you DKB makes, I'm a, makes look us at your face. Yeah, <laughs> you have time for kind of then? allegations. That, what kind of insult is that? DKB makes us understand that it's <laughs> guys who insult people like that. Oh, quite here, go to commissioner. So, well, well, you well, well, push it to say you that. still have uh, HIV and I don't have it? really. I don't have. Uh, well, well, I don't know, but uh, look, look at maybe him. it's a serious story. Look at his face, like somebody who has malaria. Yeah. You're yeah. being serious. I mean, so, what is that? What is that? Oh, we're just having fun with the courts. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> um, let, look, let's take this story and wrap up. Anyway, the, so the find us sports. Mm. Injuries rock stars ahead oh. of Congo Clash. And no, there's Daniel no. Amate, Jordan Yu, Asamoajan, and Dede Ayu. All of them are injured? Mm. Really? Mm. Are they finding excuses? It looks like, oh, exactly, that's what I was going to say. Are they finding an excuse? <laughs> I mean, we are know, tired of the black stars. You know when you start <laughs> running <laughs> and you know you lose, you just trip. No, 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 the no, no, no. We are so tired maybe, of it. I don't read it too. Yesterday, ah, maybe. you know, uh, we're told by midday that uh, Dede Ayu has a stomach mm. upset. We were oh, what? Is what? Is ah, you just was wondering what he, to, he to might have eaten. But it will, it will go. How does it? Is it so perpetual? Look, he, so it's I'm not going to make me. Trip. I'm tired of the black stars. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I'm tired. I'm oh, disappointed Lord. already. I'm so oh, tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired at all. So I'm four tired. of them. Four of them. No, so he won't recover from his stomach upset. No, he couldn't make the trip. Oh, uh, oh okay. Yes, because he has a stomach upset. Okay. You, yeah. you know when we were kids, mm. when when you are playing somewhere and then <laughs> something something messes up, you go and spoil something oh, and then yeah. uh, black stars. You, you anticipate that your parents will come and beat you and say, Media being yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You just remove yourself from the equation before you are put in. I know. Okay. Right? I so the, the match black stars play, you can if you want to watch the match, mm. uh, two thirty we're told we'll play uh, Congo yesterday. Mm. Mm. Uh, Cameroon uh, virtually uh, dropped because yeah. they played one one with um uh, Nigeria but means uh, that our chance is any better. Is there a oh, waste no, 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 of time no, no, we are not. The mathematicians are still working oh, please, on please, it. Please, please, please. No, I, if our chances are better, these boys will go. They, why are they not going? Yes, why are they not, not going? Because, because they, they don't want the embarrassment. You said I shouldn't read meaning into it, so why are you not concluding? Oh, we but are not. Like you said, he has a stomach upset. He can't board flight. Which stomach upset? I don't even know what is wrong with them. Which stomach upset? Let's do portals, Johnny. Which stomach upset? Anyway, it is yeah. well. Oh, we wish yeah. the guys all the best today as they play. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, them. we'll pray yeah. for them. They, they we'll said pray. for they Kenya re-election and it's on 17th October. But the opposition, Raila Odinga and his mm -hmm. people are asking that the uh, EC officials there in that country all be wiped off. They want fresh uh, returning officers mm -hmm. because they think that they were all accomplices to the rigging of the election. That's mm -hmm. the fresh demand they are putting up there. Uh, and, and let's see how it goes. Well, well let's see how it goes. Yeah. Let's, let's see can, can that, I whether mean, it will be done. These persons are sometimes uh, uh, picked mm. uh, through certain strict constitutional exactly. uh, regulations. Right. I don't know how easy that can be done in 30 days. Mm. But hey, that's Kenya. Let's see how it goes. No, let's see how it goes involved. anyway. We wish mm. them all the best uh, in October. Cameroon failed to qualify for 2018 mm. World Cup. Yeah. Mm. Why am I not disappointed? Um, not so well. if Cameroon didn't qualify, mm. well, it tells you. Well. And nobody had stomach ache. No, the team. no. Okay. They played their, uh, their match yesterday okay. and, mm. and drew, and they're okay. okay. No one is, is, is no, it's everyone is Everyone fine. is All okay. It's only our boys who are not <laughs> well. Okay. Yeah. The weather is not good in Ghana. Is so. it Kolebu well or Asalem well? <laughs> in the TV3's, mm -hmm. Natalie Ford receives mm -hmm. award for excellent personality. Mm -hmm. And that's, there you go, Miss Natalie Ford, the face of uh, News 360, mm -hmm. along with Alfredo Kansi. She, she's been awarded that. Uh, we're told her confidence and, and everything mm -hmm. else, her personality got her uh, that. Congratulations to Natalie right. Ford. Yeah, to her. Yes. They said more grace to her elbows, but she's wearing a dress, so we can't, can't see the grace? elbows. So well, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll, we'll cut, we'll bit cut bit. that uh, part and put the her fingers. Right. Yeah. Yeah. More grease on her fingers. Uh, yeah. Or more makeup on her face. Okay, all right. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Queen of Denmark to visit Ghana in November. Okay, we are waiting for you. When we come, we will give you a place so that you get to work. I see. Oh, God. Oh, good. Six new rice varieties released by CSIR. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, so I'm sure that the jollof, the jollof mm. cookers may the want to varieties. adopt this yellow the one, one in the middle. Mm. so that it went uh, just a little. 
Uh, just just a little uh, two tomatoes. Mm. Uh, yeah, then You'll they be will, fine. They will, six, yeah. six of you see, them. But the the first one, the very mm. brown rice, that's yeah. what we well, have well, as of now. Good. Yes, yeah. it's healthy. But what I have a problem with the current one, the local one right. that we do. There's a lot mm. of sand and stones in it, and it makes it difficult, a bit difficult to eat. But when you buy the process or the ones that are brought ex imported, they tend to be very refined and well mm. packaged. So I, I hope. The Ghanaian market can do something better about it. So we patronize in life it more. in Africa. Yeah. Life is hard. When you okay, so maybe rice. the so one that has uh, <laughs> sand and stones, if you do them, or um, um, to, yeah. you, will swallow, you will swallow it, so nobody will. But it will scratch, scratch your throat. I <laughs> beg you. But, 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 but there's a stone. legitimate concern. Like because it's healthy, raises. it's very healthy. Yes, it is. People will patronize it, it if it's better. You can. I think that it is better now. A lot more of our people are. Uh, patronizing actually, mm. yes uh, producing rice. more of the local rice yeah. there, there's a lady who has shops across, scattered across Accra mm. uh, at most of the campuses uh, made in Ghana it's mm. all local rice it's mm. very exciting and mm. um, I ate one in Italy you, you can't you can't it's, it's, I mean it's, it's, you can't it's really tasty it's very tasty and you, you, you're sure mm. that it's not being over polished mm -hmm. and yeah. the new trends yeah. are still in there yeah, mm. the and so you do is also involved in yeah. uh, producing a lot more by, mm. by made in Ghana rice, rice. Yeah. this one for example for Wachi yeah. How come Harriet has never cooked watch it invited? You've oh, not no. asked Harriet, her to. Please. You've uh, not asked then, her. Uh, uh, if you the, ask her, she should do The it. next time you tend to be hanging around Harriet's house, be careful what you eat from her house. Oh, okay. Why? Yeah. What does she say? You may get Didi are you... I know what can happen to Didi are you <laughs> yeah. upset. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. if, the, if the tilapia comes from under the river to tell you that the, the crocodile is dead. You might be <laughs> it's it's senior. Yeah. senior, thank you yeah. very much. Thank you very much for having my back. I'm grateful. Harriet, don't mind them. We'll go for a break at this point. We'll return shortly to continue with the show. Hey, good morning to you. I'm Anthony Jackson, and I'm here with some more news. Now, government has revoked the purported mining leases granted Exton Cubic Group Limited to mine bauxite deposits at the Forest Reserve in Inyinahini in the Etrima district of the Ashanti region. Lands and Natural Resources Minister John Peter Amewu said the company has not met the legal requirements to prospect for bauxite and will cause an investigation into the conduct of officials who supervise the granting of the lease. This was the position of government when the equipment of ENP was seized. There's been a back and forth with the lands minister and Ashanti regional minister over the seizure. Once it was granted to us on the 7th of June 2016, it will lapse on the 6th of June 2018. The company Exton Cubic reacted fiercely, saying all requirements have been met. The company believes there is a political motivation behind the alleged seizure of their equipment and subsequent tussle in the media. Government has made a final determination on the controversy. There is no record of an acceptance of the offer of the mining lease in writing by the company as mandatorily prescribed by Section 13, Subsection 4 of the Act. The absence of publications of the Gazette of Notice of Dependency of the company's applications and service of notice of the various entities specified in the law is contrary to both Section 13, Subsection 2 of Act 703 and Regulation 177 of LI 2176. In the circumstances above, and in accordance with Section 87 of Act 703, the three mining leases are hereby revoked. The government insists of wrongdoing in the acquisition of the concession. Exton Cubic, when contacted, says it will not comment on the matter. The youth of Nina Hini recently protested and gave government a 24-hour ultimatum to remove all machines belonging to Aston Cubic Group Limited from the area. A petition to the president appealed to him to order all machinery of Exton Cubic Company to be impounded until all stakeholders reach a proper agreement. Exton, however, has lamented it loses $40,000 daily as a result of the seizure. Kumla Kluche, TV3 News, Sakra. 
Two teacher unions have given the controller and accountant general one week to issue guidelines for those whose salaries have been suspended to be validated. The National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT, and Teachers and Education Workers Union, TEU, have warned that any delay could trigger unrest. The salaries of 7,000 public sector workers who failed to be validated were suspended for August, with more than 60% of them from the Ghana Education Service. Affected employees have been asked to be validated before the end of September. But the president of the National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT, Christina Daipoku, expects the Controller Accountants General Department to, within a week, allow affected teachers to be validated. From now, in the next two weeks, they will start payroll run again. And when they start, it is difficult to ch make any changes. So in the, in the shortest possible time, this week or next week, they have to make sure that they engage the education service fully and then resolve the issues because the teachers cannot continue to stay at home, I mean, continue to work for two months without pay. That will not be permissible. The president, while acknowledging the human resource challenges at the GES, is of the view broader consultation should be done with stakeholders. At the end of September, we don't have any problem. The problem we have is how do they do that? Is it that we are still going to place the destiny of these teachers in the hands of the heads of the department who will not do the validation because it is their responsibility in the first place? As for the teacher, he has not done anything wrong. And so we expect that the controller and Ghana Education Service will engage. General Secretary of the Teachers and Education Workers Union, TEWU, asked the GES to employ more staff to facilitate the validation process. The heads of institutions of management are co-opting teachers who should be in the, in the classroom. Mm. They are co-opting them to come to the non-teaching, to, uh, to the secretariat mm. or the offices to do non-teaching work. And we think that is not proper. It must stop. Augustine Cabo argued the monthly validation of the teachers should be stopped. All managers of the various ministries, departments and agencies must gather all their database of staff, credible database, based on which their HR or management system can, can be able to validate without the individual staff having to go to a place or go to the net or the system to validate him or herself personally. Now, the Interior Minister has ordered the Inspector General of Police to institute measures to bring to book a police officer accused of raping a 22-year-old woman. The victim is still seeking justice more than a year after she reported the incident. Yet to commence investigations into the rape case, though the complaint was filed at the Medina Police Station in June last year. The Interior Minister Ambrose Derry wants the incident thoroughly investigated and the perpetrator brought to book. They must, they must, and I've insisted all the time that the test is for the police themselves to be able to stand up to what we expect of them and that when they do fall foul the law, they must set a good example. Absolutely. But we are also looking to ensure that if that does not happen, that we do intervene and make sure the right thing happens. The 22-year-old victim was allegedly kidnapped and raped by Corporal Adam Kelvin Sampson of the airport police station. Interior Minister Ambush Derry says justice will be served. The law must take its course as far as that is concerned. It's unfortunate that uh, peace officers, those who are entrusted with enforcing the law, should themselves uh, uh, bridge the law. And so my take is that it must be seriously investigated, and thoroughly dealt with, and uh, uh, the appropriate action be taken. Now, freight forwarders were obliged to access the online paperless transaction on its fourth day of implementation. While many had very little knowledge of the process, others would not even commence the transaction. Before September 1 this year, the long room used to host hundreds of freight forwarders and clearing agents who either have to submit or receive their classification and valuation documents. The situation is changing following the implementation of the paperless transaction. Two customs officers were attending to these freight forwarders who had trooped to the long room to get their documents manually worked on 
as part of the backlog. Fred, a freight forwarder, had access to the online platform. When we send um, the declaration online, or the normal process, um, when it comes, when the declaration comes, they approve it. Um, you have a custom officer's name on the declaration, so you know which custom officer you have to um, present a document to. But for now, I sent my declaration today. I didn't see any custom officer's name on the document, so I was confused. That's why I came here. When I came to, I didn't see any custom officer. So I was confused, and I'm still confused. But AC Banini is yet to do so. As I'm speaking to you, my office, the system, is, nothing is going through. And I'm supposed to pay duty today too. But nothing is going through. By midday, anxiety set in and many were frustrated as they complained bitterly about the emerging challenges. And the new system is good. We understand it. But you know, we have old documents lying down. So the old system should go with the new system hand in hand. They would not pay any cost incurred as a result of the delays. The revenue center was also packed. Kwabna Ofusu Apia is the president of the Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders. Customs will have to uh, have an effective transition management um, uh, tool in place. Well, it's very, very necessary that we see that kind of presence. You know, if, if you're going to have only two folks left to cater for the backlogs, I say that is not quite enough. Port authorities confirm the challenges which are being addressed. Well, that's all for the news this morning. Handing over to Pao Pao and... Uh, if yeah. we want to export Johnny, you, your birthday, we'll use paper don't, system. Don't, don't, don't I know, you're trying it. to doubt, but it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Johnny. Should we sing happy birthday? Is it birthday? Should he sing happy birthday? Should I actually let you start? Is it Johnny's birthday? Really? Is it his birthday? Happy birthday to you. Hey, Charlie. Happy birthday to you. I'll be back in vocalist. Hey, to you. Oh, Johnny, happy birthday to you from all of us here. I'm spotting some green hair. Are you? <laughs> I'm spotting gray hair up there. Johnny <laughs> really? is crying. What was that? Well, uh, may God bless and keep you. May you continually Johnny, grant you all your heart's desires. Johnny is crying because of a reason. He's growing old yeah. now. Oh, you know, ah, you know, there's a tradition <laughs> here. <that laughs> you feed thousand miles. Yes. No, the, the point. Maybe. The point is that last year I did a party here. Yeah. This year I ain't do nothing. Mm. Okay. Because I was born on Wednesday. Okay. Okay. So you do Tuesday. the party tomorrow. That's no. all he's telling us. Next so. year it will be on a Wednesday. <laughs> okay, we won't call it a party. We just call it buying food for your friends. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I want to. I want to deal with a viewer. <laughs> one viewer. Okay. Johnny, show your pictures. Usually that's what uh, we do when well, it's someone's so birthday. Um, it, Johnny, that's not your picture. We start talking. Guys, okay. Okay. anyway, so All let's right. do daily rant now. We're talking about um, AMA, you know, sucking the small fish, as we called it yesterday. They're sending people off um, the streets. But uh, we're asking whether this is right, because they seem to have neglected those who have permanent structures and are only harassing those who have makeshift structures. So let's see what we have for daily rant this morning with George Quinn on the streets of Accra. In day out to the Accra Metropolitan Assembly and backs on decongestion exercise. And this, of course, might be for a good purpose, but it gets people ranting all the time. Here's a case of a woman who was evicted from a place that's not too busy and activities are not even causing mayhem. But people are still left to hog on the streets. As the aim has not been selective here, this is what we are talking about this morning. This is Daily Rant. Let's keep talking. <laughs> A man or moton no man or pampa momono, and I feel a fat garbage collection, and a fat or momo camp, crampo cars. Utim is only a selective, and he saw mu be tia, Yena, or moya humana mine, and a way observation. Yankas and into my friend to a ten group. Nemo momo modin say, no more back could be a new beam, they can't obey you. Ombayam and I, we did them work out one. I know, sir, decongestion, that can you good. But day in day out, if they do that aversion exercise now, people complain. So would there be a time maybe uh, they will do this, but they won't step on people's toes? There should be a uh, possible. Then the Enna and Crawford, as you say, you say, many will obey you. A push factor be a a juma, a com, what you say, a pressure, will be up a so year juma, what you say. 
will be a person here, Juma, because at least on first of all, at the bonny be. But the fact of the matter is, baby, I'll call you Juma. So, I don't know what you're saying, Juma. No, what you're saying. And you know, so we put money now which only I can use. Nienti ya misi se ni se ni se. Now bring him on board. No education, you know. If sometimes you know, and you make no. And sometimes I say direct education. Eh, me fu onu kwa. Have they been? I'm saying eh me kwa. Then public education advert na eh me ayeda. Ah, wo wo muda. They've never done that. They don't do that. And it is like I don't know. It's more like cook or advert, but people buy it. It's easy. No, no. But eh me eh me eh me is a eh me eh me eh me has a challenge, and he needs to communicate. Ne, 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 solution and ne, 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 effectively, like my brother is saying, but AMA don't take any of our airways to be telling people, say, this is why we do this. You see, and all that you see is that they will come with brute force, no education. So everybody sees them to be like uh, uh, some hostile people. Be. Uh, Meanwhile, for them, they thought they are doing the right thing, uh, but their approach and they're not communicating well. No, am I who says, seven, seven, go forward there. Meanwhile, they are doing the right thing. It's a communication problem. And I am a walk. And I am a young son. I was saying, you're to me, so what I am a crab or quamby so say. Um, I no, they may blame more money than say. Ceciano, baby Eddie in Ranu Gunangasano. I'm only Biana, the watcher quine my air quine a car for mono. Nay, I'm a body a bola bego, say a transe, bola can of a babafa. Second, do not in soto, not a gata no wa. In market to me, ya. Or share, share, share. They want prano, not the gum. No, we say you run away in a coin fan. Amu zamu kango, amu zamu kango. Because amu zamu tenants no share. Say that in zoto they say we pay gum. But can ball and can ball and can qua. Eh, before best sab ball and na. We don't share secret. No money. Now we share water for any more. Baby, amu lodo amasa mani we no. We be kona ball and sumo. Um, interchange. We are saying. Ne the ball go on no more. And you know, eh, me no ne juman no to be nye. Let me cite an example. Let's mami be a minimum. Baby, or twenty, na kaya cool place. And she da niya basa basa baby ya. But eh, ma victim. She ha kesi mo street so. Abu activity se ko si threat. But they are still working. Eh, eh, eh. Because eh, eh, me no. Eh, ni brefu um. Ya fe bima mungo skuda. Onse oyobu onu ma. Ya she nse oye eh me no. She ha kesi ko anu ma. Obu onse. Um, um, one guy ba kubin person boni di. The oye ye cruise nwa onu mo. Otu me di payment kwa mo bi son on tonfu fu oso. Payment ni e fa sulo. I want you to be a good person. You form another way because you are part of the army. You are part of the army. See, see, I am not going to be For me, me, who said the army sometimes, you know, they are reactionary people. Be and yes, some who plan be a mode a year, you may be. Maybe a problem with what to say central business district like circle a converging area and go for back. Pavement in Kofwe Afanini na you overlook at it. Now what cause suburb? Ah, a whole number of activities beyond cause of budget. So we are in the big picture. We are keeping environment in it. You don't go doing such things. So we evict them. So the neighbors now, Ebia, or on one, on one, if they have complained to you officially, say Ebia, the activities no, it's not to their satisfaction. You don't want to be in it. You no matter how he or she doesn't want to buy that. You can come in as a city authority to to do that. But whatever I say, Obia Mwa will form a complaint in a suburb where you could see say your own council activity and you say attracting people crowd. Then you go claim yourself because you are AMA, you are working, yeah. you have evicted such a person. Uh, no, no, no. I, I the man, say, I uh, for me, I won't buy it. I will buy it. said there are houses in Accra here, toilets in the Ah, AMA is aware, say toilets in the But Omo Muti on the Sebi, excuse me for my language, Omo, Eko, Eyu, Su, the normal, uh, natural. Uh, how do you expect these people to behave? Then as I have my fear of following your toilets, nay, not say, am in your toilets be around that vicinity, am I? Because the only thing they say, who you any free swag, they will have to go in and be throwing these things all around the place. It is easier said than done. That's why we must listen for you. Look, when this thing started, I and a few people try and wash your toilet in you. It started when I wasn't born, but the house are still existing. So. 
And uh, uh, yeah, draw so no say a crowd, a crowd be heavily populated. Okay. Every space okay. is being uh, 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 occupied. Say you die. Okay. That is the problem. Don't you think, say, until unemployment is solved, that some of one they just go amounts, you know, small shops, places selling at unapproved places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still and yeah, yeah, yeah. And and yeah, yeah. The woman is there. The woman is there. And what's the more business there? Qualification bank. And they did fun go for no as AME. Because AME ne was engineer the kitchen people kakra. Will be a Nadu Mudao. Now on to me. Not that be in Gofana farm on go school down. And then that be dead it. And go for now my post school or amen. I'm to office. Now with the uh cubal of one guab on thing. By Dumana and your cubal and more. I was all to me educated in the bus and and it's over for the manaco. Your penny phone I have our mean no. For one reason or the other, and because their political appointment in Ubiana. And you and some die, say a dear way. So, problem with they need a solution. A concrete solution, maybe better. What people all everybody will embrace it, but yeah, yeah, they need a plan. You need a plan. You can call AMSC. I can say this situation that Ghana is faced with or Accra is faced with. What is the roadmap? What is the master plan? Ah, I will hope. Ah, yeah, the eliminate is our problem. No, you won't see anything. That is just a wall. They don't have it. They don't have it. But I'm moving here. You know, I'm going to sit in the near city. I'm going to sit in the near city. I'm going to sit in the near city. I'm going to go to the city. Education, education, common education. I am a young man. 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 I am a Eh, eh, we are moving. Ya chile omo. But yendi no the the British phone has said you say yani has said you. I don't know. What you say? Yani. Into yendi no your problem. I say you two say your problem. Ni a find you solution. Yani. What you say? That is only what we are saying. Yani has said. Because President ni nimu say or for obi ama we say say we nimu. Ni pa no a find in the watakura. Remember, you watching home can also partake in this discussion. What you have to do, just log on to our social media platforms. On Facebook, it's News on TV3. And on Twitter, it's at News TV3. Our WhatsApp line is 050-823-5228. Just send us your comment, and we're always ready to read them and share them with the rest of the world. We came to you from Pokumlimi here at Accra. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Right. Uh, Daily Graphic begins the morning. And uh, uh, some key stories, uh, no qualified candidate will be left without school. Uh, the education minister there uh, is talking about uh, the placement. And then, uh, Yinahin Bauxite lease revoked. Exton Cubic has no license to operate. Uh, the Lands and Natural Resources Minister are talking. The Cocoa Board to promote cocoa products in China. That's uh, also on the front page of the Daily uh, Graphic. The guide, Daily Guide, Government Sachs Ibrahim from Yunahin Forest Bauxite Deal, uh, cancelled. Cash for transfer hits customs and no panic for free senior high school minister. Uh, these are uh, some stories. The Today newspaper, Government Bangalows pose danger to occupants and don't pay fees. Free senior high school enrollment, Minister of Education talking there. The Heritage says, Mohammed's lawyers hold crunch meeting as government cancels Exton Cubic's mining contract. That's uh, the biggest story on the front page of the Heritage. And Eastern Region has only one ambulance uh, also there on Heritage. The custodian, media groups fight over Zoom Lion and Takrad Water gets major boost. Uh, let's quickly take a look at the Ghanaian Times this morning. It says that uh, the, the extant cubic mining lease revoked. Uh, MO, MOH staff sues Blast Service Director for accusing him of being HIV positive. And uh, the uh, BEC story here, all qualified senior high school students won't be denied opportunity to get there. Uh, those are some stories uh, I have. My guest this morning, Member of Parliament for the Mian constituency, a member of the NDC, Honorable Abdulaziz Mohammed, is with me here this morning. I'm waiting for a rep from the NPP. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you're doing good. I'm great. And how was the Eid uh, celebrations? Uh, it was fantastic. Mm. I was in my constituency for the Eid prayer. Mm. I've been there for almost a month now. I prayed with my people, and uh, it was a. Uh, uh, 
Fantastic. Mm. I enjoyed it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And I hope the constituent is doing well as yeah, well. Yeah, they are doing well. Great. I may be going back maybe next week mm. to spend the rest of my holidays. Right. Um, we can start uh, with uh, the conversation this morning. Uh, the key story this morning is uh, the revocation of the license of the uh, Exton Cubic Group. Uh, Daily Graphic says that uh, Exton Cubic has no license to operate. That's the uh, Land and Natural Resources Ministry. The story captured on page uh, three says that uh, the controversy surrounding the prospecting for bauxite by Exton Cubic Limited in the Tano of Finn Forest Reserve in Yenahin in the Ashanti region has taken a new twist with the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources revoking the lease given to the company. In a dramatic twist of events, the sector minister, Mr. John Peter Mewu, explained yesterday that the company failed to meet the legal requirements and therefore its lease was not valid. The failure to obtain environmental and operational permits, as well as the various statutory infractions leading to the purported grant of the three mining leases to the company, renders the purported leases invalid and of no effect. In a circumstance and in accordance with Section 87, Act 703, the three mining leases are hereby revoked. And that's uh, the mining uh, lands and uh, Lands Minister de, uh, Mr. Mewu at a press conference uh, in Accra. We are told by the newspaper that Section 87 of the Act 703 gives the Mining Minister power to revoke a license when the Minister is satisfied that the licensee has contravened or failed to comply with a term or condition of the license over a requirement applicable to the license. The licensee is convicted of any offense relating to the smuggling or illegal sale of dealing in minerals, or the minister is satisfied that it is in the public interest to do so. The Daily Graphic goes ahead to say that the decision to revoke the license runs contrary to the minister's position last month that the company had required or had acquired the necessary permit to mine bauxite in the tunnel of Finn Forest Reserve. That's uh, the daily graphic story uh, so far. Honorable Aziz, let, let, let's start from here. So um, the, the commentary has started already. The concerns of many are that one, um, has the minister acted wrongly by making a U-turn? The paper is saying that last month, the minister said that the company had acquired the necessary permit to mine bauxite in the area. Now we're being told that the company has no license to operate. Um, good morning to our viewers and mm. good morning to my constituents back in, uh, in Myung. Um, I am very, very much worried about the turn of events mm. at the Ministry of uh, 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 Lands and uh, uh, Natural Resources. I am. Uh, appalled by the conduct of not just a minister but the entire government uh, machinery. Mm. You know, uh, this is a government that says that it wants to make the private sector the engine of growth. It wants to place the private sector at the center of our national economy. Um, it has made several public um, commitments mm. to empowering local entrepreneurs. And so I am worried that a government that would uh, espouse all these uh, virtues would be seen doing what, what they are doing. But I feel very sorry for the, the minister in question because this was the same minister like the story is uh, indicating who defended the, uh, the company, right. who, who insisted that they had, they had done everything legal and that their license was valid and that they had every right to prospect for bauxite within the, the catchment area. In less than one month, this same minister has made a U-turn. I remember that he was very much opposed to the position of the Ashanti regional uh, uh, minister then. Mm. Now he has taken uh, a U-turn. Mm. It is a political decision. It is? It is a political decision. Why you is know, it a political Because um, the minister is citing several reasons why he thinks that... Uh, uh, the, the lease is invalid. Right. So what is he revoking? In the first instance, mm. you are claiming that he has no license to operate, to prospect for, for bauxite. Right? What are you revoking now? What is the minister and the government revoking? If you say that Exton Cubic mm. has no license to prospect for bauxite, 
mm. within the Ninahini Ninahini area. area. What are you revoking? And they are even quoting a very wrong law. We can't say Section 87, right? Mm. Of the of the Act 703. Acts, 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 uh, 703. Mm. That has to do with small scale mining companies. Extin Quebec is not a small scale mining company and has not re registered as such. And so you can see a deliberate attempt by government officials to 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 sabotage the business of uh, Mr. Ibrahim Mahama because mm. it is very clear mm. that he owns this uh, uh, company. And so you can tell that since the inception of this new regime, all efforts have been to uh, undermine the business interest of uh, not just Mr. Ibrahim Mahama, but anybody associated with the NDC and for that matter. I'm worried that a country that has a very large number of unemployed youth, in fact, the unemployment in this country is beginning to threat, uh, threaten our national security. And we should be worried that such a company with a potential of recruiting about 20,000 young people in this country is being treated this way. We should go beyond the excessive partisanship. Whether we like it or not, Ibrahim Mahama is a Ghanaian and he has every right to engage in a legitimate business. And this is what he is doing. Remember his tax issues that came up, he was invited, they made a whole lot of uh, noise about it. Mm. You remember the adverse of, of uh, Kennedy at Japan about Ibrahim Mahama. Uh, later they went into Senate issues that he had not paid uh, 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 Senate contributions for his workers. You know, every action of Ibrahim Mahama and his uh, business interests are being criminalized. That is not good for this country. I'm sure there are relatives of President Nana Kofuado who are doing business today. Mm. And they must be worried because, look, there's no way that the MPP would be in power forever. They can be in power for 100 years. One day, I'm sure the Ghanaian public would want to try either the NDC or any other political party again. And what would be the story of people who are associated with not just the MPP, but also President Nana Kofuado, <laughs> who must be worried at the trend, I, I, at the trend I, I of see. events. I should we, should we, uh, for the sake of uh, uh, promoting local businesses, uh, see local businesses flouting certain rules? For instance, the minister is suggesting that Extin Cubic, in fact, this is being denied by the company, so perhaps a way to get the, 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 the fact. Extin Cubic has even failed to accept uh, the, the whole uh, prospecting lease. Oh. How That's possible? from the minister, even though officials see, of the company, even, some even, legend, he even, has denied even it. Even part of the reason cited mm. is the fact that they do not have a permit mm. from the Environmental, Environmental Protection, Protection Agency. Mm. That is not true. That is absolutely not true. In fact, I have a soft copy, a soft copy of the, the permit. Environmental Air Permit from EPA on the 7th of, of June or, or July. And if you don't mind, you can, it's here. Mm. I mean, you That's can tell our, our view. Yes, uh, 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 exactly. On the 7th of June, the EPA granted permit to Exxon Ekebik. And so for, for some of these reasons, look, they are only trying to cook up some stories around the company so as to um, get, get them out of uh, sight. Mm. They have uh, the, the machines of uh, 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 engineers and planners that was doing some works for Exxon Ekebik has been confiscated. Um, for no any reason mm. up to now without any court order. And so government is, is flouting the rules and regulations of the, of the industry. Um, they are only trying to sabotage the business interests of, of Mr. Ibrahim Mahama. I don't want to be seen being the spokesperson of Mr. Ibrahim Mahama mm. and his business interests because right. it is um, um, a corporate entity very different from the political party that I stand for, mm. very different from the minority caucus in parliament. Uh, so, but you see, so, so if that is the case, why are you drawing a link between Exxon Cubic and, ex uh, uh, and, and politics? Exactly. It is because he's the brother of President Mahama. Mm. And so clearly they think that he has some sympathies for the NDC, associated with the NDC. And so every business person who is associated with the NDC must suffer under the, under the MPP. And that is not a pledge of President Nanako Fado. He has pledged to serve all manner of people in this country. He has pledged to uh, 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 make business opportunities available for all Ghanaians, irrespective of our political 
orientations. Mm. And this is very, very contrary to what, to what, to what he's doing. I, 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 I think that the minister has been whipped into line. He's taking a U-turn from his initial uh, position as a minister. Mm. And so the minister must be telling us that if his, his initial position was ill-informed and that he wasn't briefed, he should, he should, he should let us know. I mean, it, you can't just come out on the 22nd of August as a minister to tell us that the extreme cubic did everything legitimate mm. and that they had every license to prospect for bauxite within the Nyinahini area only for you to make a U-turn in less than two weeks, you know, to, to, to revoke. So if you say they don't have a license, what are you revoking? It's very, very contradictory. It, it, could it be that Extin Cubic uh, might not have satisfied every, every detail of this uh, deal? I've just given you a very good example mm. of this citing the issue of the EPA. Mm. And there's a copy of a letter I have shown to you, I'm sure. Uh, the environmental uh, impact access. Exactly. Mm. That EPA has granted permit to this same company. And look, they're even quoting a wrong law. Mm. The whole of that area, uh, 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 the uh, 80, 80, 80, 87, mm. 87 so, right. has to do with uh, 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 small scale uh, mining. Uh, small scale mining companies. I, I am saying on authority that the Exton Quebec is not a small scale mining company. And so the minister must come up again. We don't accept these uh, flimsy excuses. And that what they are doing, you see, the NDC is the uh, government in waiting. You see, when you are in power, mm. your next place is opposition. And right. when you are in opposition, mm. your next place is automatically to get into power. And so, me, I, I feel very sad for businesses that are associated with uh, the MPP today. Because, look, when power changes hands, I'm sure people would want to do the same. Mm. People may want to uh, uh, also sabotage businesses that are associated with the MPP. I don't think that's the way to go, but they must begin to talk among themselves. They should begin talking among themselves to see how they can uh, uh, get out of this uh, 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 political uh, uh, exercise. Uh, 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 it doesn't uh, argue well for our national development. It doesn't at all, trust me. Right. Uh, I'm grateful for uh, your time. Now, uh, let me introduce my second guest. Uh, Henry Nabwache is a deputy uh, director at the National Service uh, Secretariat, or scheme, a member of the NPP. Nabi. Yes, sir. Good morning. Yes, sir. I hope you're great. Right, I'm okay. Mm. How are you doing? Uh, we're also fine. Oh, okay. We're waiting for you. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank uh, you so very we much. started a conversation with the uh, Daily Graphic story. Almost every paper has that story. Uh, the, uh, the story of uh, Extinct Cubic uh, revocation of the license by the Lands and Natural Resources Minister. Uh, your um, your co panelist is suggesting that the minister has made. In fact, the Daily Graphic put the story that the, the decision to revoke the license runs contrary to the minister's position last month that the company had acquired the necessary permit to mine bauxite in the tunnel of Finn Forest Reserve. And so the, the question this morning is that if some few days ago the minister says whatever was happening was legal, the question is what has changed? I, 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 is it possible that the minister was not properly informed about what was happening? <coughs> Thank you very much, Bright, and then mm. good morning to you, my brother, too, and then to your cherished viewers. Mm. Um, to, to start with, um, let me say that there is a clear distinction between you acquiring a particular license mm. and that license being valid based on certain conditionalities. I think we need to make it clear. Right. Right. And for me, yesterday, when you listen to the minister very well, mm. he quoted copiously from the law and um, um, I'm shocked as to how my brother would want to seek to. In fact, I can understand where he's coming from and where he also connected the fact that he's the president's brother and that is NDC and then all these political connotations. But the truth is that laws are laws. Mm. And some of these things, in fact, even the letter that they put out, um, the one from the Forestry Commission, in fact, in that letter, it was stated that that license or the permit to just enter the forest, not even to go, go in there and mine. For prospecting. You enter, just enter, not even for prospecting, no. The mandate of the Forestry Commission is to just give you access to the forest. Whether you are going to go after game, you are going to go after uh, maybe leaves, mm. you are going to go after anything at all, that is not their work. 
their work is only to give you that permit access to enter, to enter. Access, to the, access to the forest. So it's and not then, a prospective Yes, and even in that letter, it was, it was stated clearly that even this permit, right, is based on these conditionalities, that you need to get the permit from the EPA, mm. you need to get permit from Mineral Com Minerals Commission, you need to get per permit from all these institutions. So it is not true that indeed once there was the... Um, the license, once you have acquired it, it was not based on certain conditionalities. So you can have the paper. Mm. Which but you need to satisfy certain, certain conditions. Certain conditionalities. And that is what yesterday the minister was... And I, I want to even read certain portions of what uh, yesterday he okay. communicated out to us. Um, yes, in the, in the, in the GFA. So he quoted, for instance, the, um, he quoted section... 13, 2, and 3 of the Minerals and Mining Act, mm. and which mandatorily require the publication of a notice of dependency of an application mm. for prospecting license. And this statutory requirement was not adhered to. Again, it is instructive to note that the purported letter of offer for prospecting right, was written before the commission forwarded its recommendation to the minister on 28th of December 2016. Mm. And it appears when we look at the timing and all the letters issued, it appears there was some unwholesome hurriedness. It, 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 because you see, this is not a very small thing. It is not you going in and prospecting for oh, a small scale mine. No, mm. this is a huge thing. And it appears within some few months, people are hurriedly moving around, shaking things, just to have these things done. And again, the minister made mention that Again, to purport to write an offer of um, um, the letter to Eston Quebec without publication of notice of pendency of the application was a violation of Act 703 and LI 2176. So for me, Th there were clear breaches. Clear, clear. And there were further Article 268 of the Constitution subject the agreement to parliamentary rectification. It's no such rectification. I think it's ratification. Ratification yes. by Parliament, yes. No such ratification Having has been done. done by Parliament. More importantly, Section 13.4 of the Minerals and Mining Act requires an applicant in whose favor a grant has been made to notify in writing the acceptance of the offer to grant for the lease. This is a mandatory duty that Eston Kibik had failed to, to comply do. with. So, lastly, mm. Section 13.6 of Act 706 says... An offer to grant shall lapse over 60 days of non-compliance to the provisions of Section 13.4 of Act 703. Conclusion. The consequence flowing from the non-compliance mm. of these statutory provisions means that the license that is you invalid. are about is invalid. So, so the minister didn't know all this some days ago. No, that is what I'm saying. You see, all of these things were done before the minister came in. Mm. Right. And then it appears that you have license. And these things come in, and you have to go deep. So for me, it is, it is imperative that if the minister had a different position then, mm. and now he's been exposed to some further details, and that further details seek to address all these problems that we have. Now, the issue is that we have licenses. It is valid. We have complied with all the statutory requirements. Okay, now, let us go into it very mm. well. Because on the face of it, you have the licenses. Let us go into it. Now, EPA comes out. No, you have not fulfilled all these requirements. In the, in the, in the Forestry uh, Commission's letter, mm. you are supposed to also fulfill certain conditionalities. That one, you have not. So for me, I think the minister is right. Should and the minister have waited before coming out? Because now that is where the confusion is. No, no. The suggestion it, is that, well, he's been pushed you know to, to do it. Yeah. No, not pushed. If, in fact, if his press conference... No, I mean, it, should he have waited earlier when... Uh, 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 some equipment were seized in Yinahin and he came out to say that everything Extin Cubic is doing is right. Since he didn't have all this information, should he have waited before coming out? That's what I'm saying that on the face of it, mm. you have the license of prospecting. Okay. But then it was based on certain nationalities. And these deals with quite a number of institutions as well. Some are even under his ministry. Some are not under his ministry. You could have gotten to them before coming out. Is that not no, possible? I can agree that maybe there, there was that mm. communication lapse. Right. 
I can fully agree with you, mm -hmm. Bright, that mm -hmm. there was that communication gap. Mm -hmm. But that is how governance is. Sometimes, because of all these, you know, um, interconnections between you and other institutions, mm -hmm. you may lack certain information. You may come out of a particular position. You can be alerted on the consequences of these um, um, and position you have taken, and then you revert, you recoil, and then you do all of these things back. So for me, I think the minister did everything right. Just updated me, his yes, record. Yes, yes, and, yes, it, exactly. it, let's deal with this one too. The, the other concerns is that, uh, one of which is that uh, it, the, the act under which the minister is referring to it, is solely for small scale mining, section 87 of the Act 703. I don't know if you can get to that, but um, the other argument is that that Act, Section 87 of the Mining uh, uh, Minerals Act 703, 703 uh, is for small scale mining and not the type which um, uh, Extin Cubic is doing, large scale mining. Are you talking about the Minerals the and Mining Act? Yes. Yes. It is, it, it, the mandate is the only. The Act under which he revoked the line. Oh, you are talking about the particular section, you are talking about no. the entire Act. The, no, okay, Section 87 of the Act. No, but that's what I'm saying. That, that even yeah, what, I, what, I, what I just read, to. I have not even quoted the section the 87. Act, right. All the sections I've quoted is section 13, 2, and 3, uh, which talks about the mandatory um, requirement right. of a prior you, you um, making the publications mm. out, and then some others, and then um, the ratification by parliament. I have not cited the 87. Right. I mean, you can uh, feed me with that information. Yeah, but that is a concern that yes. it, it is for uh, small scale miners and not the type that. Extreme cubic is engaging in, so people are worried about it. So as I said, I'm, I'm not. You are not. Yes, uh, okay. I'm, I'm, yes. We'll, we'll get. Uh, not, more. But as I said, mm. there were quite a number of statutory requirements. Mm. That were not fulfilled. And it appears they were caught by several nets. <laughs> Did you get my point? Mm. Yes, because not only are we talking about, um, let's say maybe the section 87, which I'm saying that uh, humbly I'm not really abreast to, um, yeah. with that information, mm -hmm. but then at least I've quoted the section 13 as well, the manual, and then we are talking about the fact that it should have gone to parliament for ratification mm -hmm. so of some of these um, 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 processes, and then also EPA also coming out. And so there are quite a number of you know, issues here, not only one, mm -hmm. right? So that is what I'm saying on the base of it. But you see, in all of this, Ghana is a nation of laws. So for Eston Cubic, if you are also of the view that indeed you traverse through all the legal, you know, the uh, laid up uh, yes, procedures. procedures, if you are comfortable in your skin that indeed you were led clearly by your legal team mm. and then they did everything right, proceed to the law court. Uh, I, don't, are you, I don't have a problem uh, with it uh, at all. I, I'm coming. I, I, are, you, uh, are you aware that the ministry, uh, the letter of revocation to Extin Cubic, there were two different letters to the same company on the same issue. Uh, is this something you are aware of? Two letters? Yes, from the Minister of Lands and uh, Natural Resources, um, revoking the, the mining leases of uh, Extin Cubic. Now? Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. two. Yes, two I'm, I'm, I'm not One, uh, the company says one, they received one letter in the morning from the ministry, and at in about a four-hour interval, another letter came with the same signature of the minister, the same date, but two different uh, uh, content. One seemed to contradict the other. Have, have they, have the, they produced? The where they have not produced it yet. That's uh, what so is, if President Muhammad were to be the president now, mm. it means all of these serious infractions all of these procedural irregularities would have just been shredded and then the man will just go on. But these are the irregularities the company is denying. They have shown us that a copy why, of EPA. So that, that, do, that is why I'm saying that <laughs> Ghana is a country of laws. Mm. You have clearly been shown of the, In fact, the, an EPA is not a small institution. And they have come out categorically to state that you, you have not complied with our conditions. You as a company, I mean. You have not. And then okay. again, we have the Minister of Lands and Forestry who also come out to copiously quote session, sections in relevant, you know, um, um, statutory um, 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 documents indicating that procedurally you were wrong. So my problem is that if you think you have a legitimate course of action, proceed to the law court. Okay. I don't think we should be fighting this. I'll in yes, the media, I'll, come the, in the I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. We'll find out if you have an idea why the equipment of Extinct Cubic are still being held, despite the fact that mm -hmm. the company has appealed that they should be released and because they are uh, 
Oh, I'm sure uh, after that, after, after that. tomorrow it will be. It will be. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Honorable yeah, Aziz, yeah. so uh, I mean, it, he said that these are procedural issues that were not adhered to. That's why, and it has nothing to do with politics. I, but you think it is? I, 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 I am not too convinced about the position of my colleague on the table here. The issues at stake is not that one of the NDC. I fully recognize that it is an issue for a corporate entity mm. and that it is distinct totally from our party as a, a, a political party. And we are not prosecuting this matter from the NDC headquarters. We are not. In fact, uh, Mr. Ibrahim Mahama, and for that matter, the exchange Ekubik has indicated that they are engaging their lawyers and that they will seek some redress in the law court. Mm. But as a political party, we have every right and duty to share our views and positions on matters of national interest. And so we commenting on that matter does not mean that we are, we are, we are, we are drawing the matter into political uh, 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 atmosphere. No, that is far from, from, from the truth. Why? You also belong to a political party mm. and you are defending the position of the government. You don't work at the Minos Commission. You don't work at that ministry. So by, can I argue by, by that, by that um, same logic of yours, that it is an MPP agenda that is being executed? Now, it is interesting that my colleague on the table quoted Section 13 of the Minerals Act of uh, 703 mm. and yet did not find very necessary to also avert his mind to Section 87. In fact, the whole of 81 to 89 deals entirely with small-scale mining companies. You cannot revoke the license of a company under a wrong law. That one is a matter of fact. Ghana is a country of laws and not men. Go and check Section 87 of the Minerals uh, uh, Act, the of, some, Act. Uh, uh, of 2006, mm. Act 703. And so we are simply telling you that even though you are in power and you have the executive power, you cannot do things just the way you like it. You must operate within the confines of the law. Now, you are talking about a letter, uh, 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 whether uh, 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 Extin Ecubic has uh, a prospecting license or not. In fact, an offer was made to them in 2015, especially on the 5th of November. Mm. An offer was made to them. They accepted and paid the necessary dues on the 11th of November. It is a matter of record. You can't change it. And were granted license on 24th of December, 2015. Now, we are also claiming that EPA didn't grant them any permits. That is not true. I have a copy, a soft copy on my phone, which I have shared with you, uh, Bright, on this platform, that on the 7th of June, 2016, a permit was granted to this company by EPA. And so you cannot come and tell us that there was, there was no permit from EPA. No, that is not true. In fact, the entire process of this extinct cubic in respect of the uh, bauxite industry within the Nyinahini area started somewhere 23rd of May 2013. And so it's not just uh, like a, um, a process that was, that, that was hurried in favor of uh, Mr. Ibrahim and his company. No, that's not true. This process started as far back as 2013, uh, uh, 23rd of May. And so what we are saying is that, look, I would advise the company to pursue a legal option I don't think that this regime would be interested in listening to him if he wants to engage them. They have shown enough, enough hatred, not just for Mr. Ibrahim and his companies, but any other business in this country associated with, uh, that is uh, believed to have some links with the NDC. Why? He has the right to belong to any political party of his choice. Don't we have brothers and siblings of President Nana Kofado engage in legitimate business today? Are you saying that should the NDC come back to power in 2020, inshallah, should we sabotage their, their, their business interest? No. No. So you cannot revoke a license under a wrong law. I can share with you, I have it on my phone here. You can Google it. Section 87. We'll we, we deal with it. It's a wrong well, law. Yes. And I can also share with you the EPA permit granted to them. Mm. I can show it to you on this platform. We, 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 for instance, we, so it, it, the, he has said that if indeed Exton Cubic uh, had uh, been unable to adhere to certain conditions that were precedent to 
uh, what they were doing. Uh, all they needed to do is to go back and get them right. And it, perhaps that will resolve everything. I don't want us to create a problem on our own and begin to proffer solutions to them. No. We are challenging all the allegations made against Extin Cubic. And I've just given you a very clear example of they claiming that he has no EPA permit. Mm. I have a soft copy on my phone here. I have not doctored it. That is not true. And in fact, I have also referred you to a law, the law that the ministers stood on to revoke the license. It's a wrong law. How does Mr. Ibrahim Mahama or his company goes to, to rectify that? No. They are only trying to create a, a, a forest and begin and, and invite all of us to go in there to, 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 to hunt. They should go there and hunt. They have created their own forest. Look, it's a political witch hunt uh, that runs very contrary to the belief uh, of, of, of not just the MPP, but all the political parties in this country that we have every duty to, to nature indigenous companies in this country. This is a government that is talking about one district, one factory to create job opportunities to young people in this country. Somebody has a business project that has the potential to recruit as much as 20,000 young Ghanaians and you are not bothered about nurturing that company. All that you are interested in is to sabotage that business company and when we uh, uh, subject you to proper uh, scrutiny, then you say we are trying to process the same matter. No, we are not. We are not. We are not dragging the matter All right. into the realm um, of. Uh, I'm right. grateful. Nana, come in and let's yes, wrap yes, up. So, so I think we leave it to the that. court to to take a decision. Right. I, I think I think my brother is inviting me to, you know, to the realm or the arena of you know um, this petty partisan politics mm. in this matter. You see, number one, if you keep saying that it is witch hunting and that we are seeking to sabotage a private initiative. Entity. You see, we are in this country. One Mr. Ibrahim Mahama, who we are saying that he is an indigent, tried not to pay taxes to the tune of 12.4 million Ghana cities. And he's a citizen. Is that a responsible citizen? Here in Ghana. So now my mind is that he was supposed, and he issued out 44 that checks. And this matter is still being investigated. So the issue is that, I always say this, so if we were not blessed to have a change of government, then it means this 12.4 million Ghana cities that he was indebted to Ghana, obviously it would have been swept away. But you're not saying that is why his, his license is being <laughs> No, that is No, because he's bringing all of this. Because yeah, now no, he's saying no, no, that he's a... That, that is why I kept... No, I'm coming, come, come. That it's is why I kept saying that it is... There's that principle of <laughs> separate legal entity. I would want to separate the person from Eastern Kibbe, but he keeps attaching the matter and he keeps making reference to the fact that it is Ibrahim Mahama. No. If you're a private person and you want to do your work, <laughs> so it means that you need to flout our laws. If you're a private person and you want to, you want to create jobs through your initiative, you want us to circumvent our laws. Is that what you are saying? Now you have you have something on your phone, purportedly to from be coming EPA. from EPA. But EPA themselves, they have also issued out another counter statement, stating that we have not. So that matter, it cannot be settled between me and you on bright show. Okay. I that matter. You. Okay. Proceed to the law court. Okay. And so, is it for me? So I agree with the you. EPA you know, is not. I'm coming. The EPA is not a small entity. <laughs> Do you get my point? And again. The ministry, the ministry has all of these institutions under the ministry. Mm. Now, for you sitting here as an individual, my mm. brother Aziz, mm. you probably will not have that capacity of investigating and going deep into this matter better than the ministry. Because the ministry has all these institutions, the ministry has all these documents. You may not even have it. You, are, you have some, something on your phone. <laughs> Which is supposed by you uh, coming from EPA. Uh, so, my brother, don't prosecute this let, matter let, on let, TV3. Let, let, let's, All let, I'm let, trying to say let, is that okay. let's remain calm. Immediately, you decide to bring in Ibrahim Mahama and you decide to bring in NDC. You are making the matter make here. And for me, when you say that a citizen is trying to, then I would, re, I would just take you back to how he tried not to pay taxes. Is government acting ab arbitrarily by not releasing? The equipment uh, that was seized in uh, Yenahin? 
Oh, I, I don't think so. I mean, I think once the, the one, one is, is, is it's the matter is resolved now, and then the government is saying that you know what, your license has been revoked, and the license that you were holding mm -hmm. obviously was supposed to meet some conditions, and not certainly, I'm sure, that the equipment should be released, you know, to them. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think I have a problem with this at all. Right. Mm. You yes. see, right. my brother has come out of his uh, 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 shelves. You know. He's now referring you to the some tax owings of uh, 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 companies that are. are uh, Is it because of where you went to? No, no. You see, you you really showed yourself, you know, on this on this matter. Uh -huh. What company? You are talking about some twelve point four million Ghana cities tax uh -huh. owings. Yes. Was it on the person of Mr. Ibrahim? Or a company that he... Uh, but he, he himself was, came out. No, to, no. Was it on... on no, but he himself came out. Was it on the person of Mr. Ibrahim? No, he, he himself. The company that, 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 that he owns. I was very, see, very careful you know, by mentioning. You know, but he himself, you know, Mr. Earlier, Ibrahim, before, came out to say that even, even he is preparing to pay it. Even before he joined us, I pointed to you of those tax issues that they brought up earlier. I also pointed to the... Who brought it up earlier? Your government. But he did not and pay. The, the issue of the... No, no the, don't say as if that it was a fictitious... No, right. Of the right. He immediately now, said now, it. Now, now, then now, he's no, creating no, he a it was fictitious. And then we sought to create it. And it was not... But were a fact. But were a He later on paid the 12.4. Do you know how many companies in this country that owe... Ghana Revenue Authority. I don't have a problem with you that. See? But you okay. have a problem with so Mr. Ibrahim. No. That's very clear. No, that is not so. It that's is because he issued that 44 that no problem which with is other criminal activity. That old Ghana Revenue Authority. No, because but you have every problem with uh -huh. Mr. Ibrahim, Mama. And his business... Because uh, he's uh, doing business. As it is from 2015. His checks that were issued could not go through. That's why it became a That's what That's what my 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 colleague on this table is saying. I cannot back for that. Yoko said it. Now, now, now. I'm telling and you, you're investigating it. Oh, that, Nana let's Nana wrap up Nana on this. One. I'm telling you on authority, mm -hmm. and I challenge the EPA mm, mm -hmm. to come publicly to deny that on the sieve of June 2016. But you have already done oh, that. Oh, I'm telling you, and I can even quote you the permit number that was granted to Exton Ecubic. For mm? what? For prospecting. That is what I'm trying for to tell you. But they are not doctoring also come it. Out. I am right. not doctoring we, it. I'm not saying you are doctoring it. And you have not also... Well, but have you read the EPS statement? I raised two issues. But you did you, you leave it? Did you read I raised issues of this one and section 87. Mm. But did that you, one did you have read... Okay. Did yeah, you read that one? X in Cubic is heading to court. If you take... I would encourage them to do that. If you take a look at the daily graphic story, the company says it is heading to court. Its lawyers are investigating or reading through uh, the two documents, and so uh, it will seek redress in court and in the coming days. Um, uh, so we will leave it at that and move on and yeah, uh, that, deal with it. some move other on. issues whilst we wait for the court to take a decision on that. Let's touch on this story. Uh, no qualified candidate will be left without school. The Education Ministry has given an assurance that it will do everything possible to assure that no basic education certificate examination student or candidate who has been who has been placed in a senior high school or given the opportunity to select a school will be left out uh, by the uh, computerized system. We're told that their parents are frustrated because they are unable to access the system and they are not happy with the decision uh, by the education ministry to limit the the whole exercise. Uh, we're told that the education ministry is calming down the nerves of parents that the 48 hour deadline should not be a cause for worry because we're not going to leave anyone behind. He explained that the ministry was monitoring the situation and trying to scale up uh, the server capacity and the bandwidth so that more people could access the internet to select schools of their choice and print their admission letters. So that's the story so far. Uh, yesterday, uh, parents were experiencing their, uh, some frustration and they they had to voice that. Now, now, the assurances from the education ministry of dealing with it, um, it this issue keep, keep happening every year when uh, they are going to assess. How sure are we that we can handle this? Some deadline has been issued, uh, extension made. Perhaps we might be asking for more extension, looking at what is happening. Oh, <coughs> um, yes. Um, for me, this is mm. a huge, huge, audacious policy being rolled out. And in fact, for last year, we had close to about 140,000 students who were left out right. of the, uh, the, the SHS the net, right. simply because they were not, put, they were not placed at all, mm. or maybe due to some financial reasons. 
the financial reasons mainly was a problem. So this year we have placed close to about 92 per 92% and then left it at 8%. And even we have brought something we call self-placement. Mm. There are some schools available, you go on the net and then you check where you can even place yourself because we don't want to leave anybody out. Now these problems, obviously, for me, especially coming from national service, where we also do postings, mm. where we've had quite a number of challenges with some of these postings, I knew that it was going to come up, especially for our system and all that, but because of the congestion. But um, for me, I think these are challenges that dedication, to, for this morning, I have interacted with the education ministry, um, the Minister of Education, and then the assurance is that, in fact, by for now, I think this morning they have even started having access to the system. Mm. Uh, it was jammed for some time, for um, some hours yesterday, but they have access now. And then those who have not been placed, and then this year is even a record figure. We have just about 30,000 people who have not been placed. Mm. When you compare it to the huge figures, um, from previous years, 140,000, 114,000 the year before. So I think for me, everything is set for the free SHS. They are up to it. And for me, the education ministry has worked extraordinarily hard to make this audacious promise a reality. I can accept and welcome any legitimate concerns right mm. very important because you see because it is very huge for all of us we know that education is key for all of us we believe in free education for all of us i think the point of departure is the house the when the to do this to do that and some of these issues and that is why i encourage civil society mm. to go into it find the challenges, find the problems, so that we can cross all T's, dot on it, sharpen all edges to make sure that we move on. For my problem I have with my brothers on the other side, although I've not listened to uh, one of <laughs> Aziz, the problem I, I have see. with them is that, you see, there is a clear distinction. Yesterday I mentioned this on a different platform. There's a clear distinction between you having a legitimate concern, positive criticisms, constructive ones. There's a clear difference between that and then you criticizing it with mischief with a certain eye that what you are even you are even seeking mischievous tell me good Nana. for instance mm. if yesterday i'm on a platform with um, my brother onabu mutala and he says that this we see is going to crash we are in danger it is dangerous simply because he's saying that we have budgeted 400 million ghana cities this year mm. and then he's seeking or he's believing that it may go up and i'm saying what is wrong with that Government always have supplementary budget. If we, the system is such that you need to adjust. What is wrong with that? And for me... Is it wrong to ask what went into the 400 million uh, CD no, budget? No, no. For me, do you know why there's nothing wrong with it? Because the president, let me, let me quote the president. The president, the Okapimai declaration, the president said, let me take this opportunity to spell out clearly what we intend to do so that no one in Ghana is left in any doubt. Mm. By free SHS, we mean that in addition to tuition, which is already free, there will be no admission fee, there will be no library fees, there will be no science center fees, there will be no computer lab fees, no examination fees, no utility fees, there will be free textbooks, free boarding, free meals, and a day student will get a meal f at school for free. Free SHS will also cover agricultural, vocational, and technical institutions at a higher school level. I also want to state clearly again that we have a well thought out plan that involves the building of new public schools, high schools, and a cluster of public schools. The president further explained. Okay. This was the okay. So, so is, is it possible to, let's say that we are admitting 100 students, so we'll multiply that by the 400 and know that each student uh, is being accommodated. Let me do some calculation for you. Even mm. if you do that, eh? Is it even good to even project up? Now, first thing, mm. once they enter, right. the fee is high. Mm. It's around 1,200. Right, the admission fees. Yes, and all, and all that. Mm. Second term, it, it comes down, 460. Right. Third term, 465. Even if you add this, and even you multiply it by, by some 400,000 people, you're going to get 800 million Ghana cities. I see. But we should not forget that it is a cyclical you know, process. Mm. Once you budget 400 million for it, you know that next year you're going to read another budget again. Mm. And the academic year is such that it runs through two budgets. 
uh, brother, right. I get to my point. Right. It runs through There's a budget, and then exactly. in November, so once, when even exactly. right. And then even November, sometimes you can even have a supplementary budget where mm. you go and ask for more. So my issue is this: when you have a starting point for a particular policy, and you know that it excludes certain class, those who are already in, mm. and then you are starting with the first years, certainly the figure will be lower. But once you go up, because next year you have to budget for the first year, second year, mm. and then the year after you have to budget for third, second, and first years, then the figure will go up. Okay. So we have a clear, thought out plan. So my issue is that every constructive criticism is welcome. And now I just have a message from the president for you. Mm. Very, 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 yes, 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 yes. The president said, but I should tell you this, <laughs> that free SHS is here. Yeah. Free SHS is here. Now the cameras are catching Yes. Up. Yeah. Very, 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 very key. Mm -hmm. It is here. We are committed to it. And our full commitment to make sure that it survives. And every Ghanaian will benefit from it. The president says free SHS is yes, here. Yeah. Thank All you. All right. Man. We'll take over that when you're later. <laughs> Johnny, good morning once again. I'll come to you on our well, But let's pick some the, comments. The, the news hub or the, the big gate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nanabi didn't break ropes for us to tie the thing. <laughs> 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 Not on the premises of TV3. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, I'll bring a bigger one. Thank yeah. you. It says, hello, good morning, TV3. Pa uh, Paul in Abuakwa, Marco in Kumasi says that uh, the minister, Peter Mbewu, should resign from his post. He's incompetent. Mm -hmm. How can you tell us that the company is working there is in... Is in well, you say they have good uh, the lease, and then now you say that the lease is not good. Mr. President should fire him. And indeed, free SHS is free, Ampa. No examination fees, no entertainment fees, no library fees, no SRC dues, no sports fees, no culture fees, no co-curricular activity fees, no ICT fees, no science development fees, no development levy fees, no utility fees. It's free, Ampa. And for free SHS, hashtag free SHS is here. Blueprint rise from a Cicado Ketan. Thank you. And get us the ambulance in Mado from a dentist is asking if you had 35 um, you get placement he says uh, but then he doesn't have now that the government uh, doesn't pay beneficiaries allowance it rather concentrates on free SHS uh, are we all not Ghanaians come on in bright and co education service should uh, and co education service should do their homework well before uh, Ghanaians uh, begin shouting at them. Ta Tahiru Ibrahim from uh, Yikpongu says, uh, the Minister of Education at GS should try and extend the placement deadline to two weeks to enable all the beneficiaries have their share into various SHS schools. Free, free, free without hitches. Now, wow. Johnny, please tell the Ministry of Education and all those in authority to regulate the fees of additional learning courses in our public universities. The distance schools pays more than 100% of what the regular schools pay. And it's just too much. Uh, no bosom. And uh, you must know that the minister is advised by legal and technical public servants. Let's be practical and see that Amewu is not infallible. Uh, Kobe Martina. Good morning, TV3. Can someone please tell me what at all is wrong with this government? The confusion is becoming too much, Johnny. Please, let's get up and speak as well uh, as actor citizens before this uh, substandard, incompetent, and clueless government turns this country upside down. Ah, Eradi Bejistiano. My name is Simple from Cantonment. And Sir Fresh at Asante Joabin says, President Akufuado and his MPP with the position promised holistically free SHS education uh, at a go. But now, the government, uh, but now in government, they are implementing progressively free SHS scholarship education, which is commendable, though. But His Excellency the President, Kufuado, and his MPP should uh, apologize to the good people for their inability to provide free SHS to every student in SHS and in Ghana at the, at the moment. Form 2 and Form 3 students are asking for their uh, version of free SHS, Mr. President. Where is the government's creation of jobs when those that will help create jobs for the teaming youth are are thrown out of businesses. Can government alone create the jobs for the teaming youth? Where are they going to work for a living and to cater for their families? Oh, politics could kill Ghana. Oh, appear to us from Tongo. And good morning, guys. I'm enjoying the newspaper review. Uh, please, Johnny, Bright, and I want you guys to help me out. My question is, how many months or years can I use my sponge to bath before changing it? Really? We'll tell you some more about that, Hakimi. <laughs> it says, well, uh, thank you. Uh, it says, well, uh, well, Mr. Ho, tell the NDC man that Ghanaians are intelligent human beings and will judge him according to his lips. He is a politically 
it's a political liability to his party and constituents from uh, Akazabre Boga. That's a very harsh one. Good morning, Bright. Mr. Mohammed should not threaten uh, <laughs> President Akufuado's family and others for their wrongdoings of Ibrahim Mahama. If he thinks he's being cheated, he should go to court and defend himself. Why is the NDC man always in a hurry to defend wrongdoings? Um, uh, Bright, please ask Mohammed to go out now and organize a press conference on the street saga. Why? Ghana must be clean to its maximum level. So, as to support us, we, the poor citizens of this country, done so in ESSZ. And uh, is the NPP man saying that anybody can go for license to enter into the forest, irrespective of his purpose for entering? Then I'll go for a permit to bend the forest. Tell him to stop misleading people, uh, the Ghanaians, uh, for they are w wising up. Okay, Thomas Iwalewale uh, from Asamoah of Konongo says, Exxon Cubic Bauxite License Revoke. I'm really not clear for why the minister came out to pronounce the Exxon Cubic uh, license for a few weeks, coming out again that they don't have license. How could this be so? My concern is, if they don't have license, why did they come out to say that they have? What did he see and find before proclaiming that they have license? And perhaps finally, Baba Musa in Tamale says, uh, I think that the decision by the MPP government to revoke the license of Exxon Cubic Bauxite is in bad faith and politically motivated. We all know that the president and co-founder's brother, Bomti, is a businessman. And uh, is the MPP suggesting that next NDC government should go after Akufuado's brother and frustrate businesses. This sub sub substandard government uh, promised the Ghanaian youth that they would create jobs, but they have so far failed woefully in that regard. And instead of supporting the private sector to create jobs, they are rather crippling businesses of their political opponents. Right. Johnny, grateful. grateful. Thank you, sir. Keep the comment coming. We'll read them uh, before we wrap up the show. Otherwise, let's uh, continue. So he, he ended at the fact that the <coughs> government is committed to the free SHS. And so uh, all the challenges we are experiencing in the placement will be dealt with, and then we can move on. Mm -mm. For free senior high school, I don't think there is anyone in this country that would be opposed mm. to any attempt that would make education affordable and accessible to the Guardian public. Um, the story, first of all, talked about the, the, the placement of the, of the BC candidates, mm. those who have passed their exam. And I would want to admit that uh, about 92% have passed, and so far they have only successfully placed about 60%, and not the, the entire placement. 92 Yes, and not the entire 90, 92%. Wh where where no, are you no, getting no, your no, figures 90, from? Are they, 92% uh, have been placed. No. I'm telling you. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Get it, get it right here. You, you have different out figures. of the hundred percent that came out of the BEC, mm. eight percent did not pass. They had a so failed aggregate of nine. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Okay. exactly. Right. Uh -huh. okay. And so, out of those who passed, the ninety-two, the ninety-two um, percent. percent, not everyone has been placed yet. Mm. What they have done is about some sixty percent, and they've asked the rest to go through the online. Um, uh, placement um, um, process and now the challenge has to do with the network um, uh, connectivity. The network. So, so it's so not that they will not be placed, no, but it's no, a network. No, okay. no, All right. I, I, we, we I, can I, move I, ad, I, I admit to that. Mm. Now, the, the VEX issues here are the uh, processes leading to the implementation of the much touted free senior high school. And like I indicated, why? No one should deceive himself that the NDC as a political party thinks that. Uh, we should not make education affordable and accessible. We in the NDC, right from day one, have argued that it is better to make a, a secondary education accessible first before looking at making free senior high school um, 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 a policy. In fact, we had adopted a policy of progressively making senior high school free. The MPP in opposition talked about a wholesale um, project power they have adapted what the NDC had preached all along what they are implementing today is not what they promised in the position you had promised a universal free senior high school now you are doing a progressive introduction of free senior high school wow. why you are dealing with the first years the, those oh, in second oh, and third year oh, are they not this, you should be you should know better why yeah. right I, I thought we don't waste time on, every, on, no, on, no, on no, this no 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 it's key every What's, policy yes has a starting point. You remember when President Kofor oh, extended the oh, three-year oh, SHS oh. duration to four I'm years? Sure, and then when President Mills came, I'm sure you have your 10. I'm sure you have your 10. Just a second. You didn't just, promise to make 
Just, just, 30 school, just 30 seconds. Just a progressive one. No, this you is not progressive. A universal okay. one. No. It is okay. progressive. No, 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 no. It is my turn now. Maybe and, and then it's I okay. You I was very okay. quiet when you were talking. Let him finish. What I'm saying is that you promised a universal it's okay, you implementation worry, of you the finish. free senior high school. Mm. Now in power, what we are doing is what we advocated for. A progressive introduction of free senior high school as envisaged by the 1992 constitution of our republic. Now, what, are you, what, what, what it means is that those in second year today, and third year, would not benefit from that uh, policy. Mm. Someone in secondary school from one last year may have voted for you including his parents or her parents, simply because they were coming to enjoy free senior high school, as you, you promised. Now you are only limiting it to first years. And when we bring some of these uh, uh, issues to your attention, when we, we, we want you to get things right, and so we draw your attention to some of these things, and we impress on you to admit humbly to some of these shortcomings, don't see it as a sabotage or do you, you don't see the argument that every policy has a takeoff and that this is only a takeoff and that in the next three years every uh, student uh, will have uh, the opportunity? Well, that still remains a progressive introduction of that policy, okay. which I want them to admit. Okay. Now you are talking about meals that every, and look, I'm, I'm worried for, for President Nanado and his government officials on this uh, free senior high school. You are talking about a, 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 a hot meal for every day, day, day student. Mm. Nanabi, you are in this country. Tell me if there's any single secondary school in this country, a day secondary school, that has either a kitchen facility, a dining hall facility, so you're worried about or infrastructure. anything to support the one meal a day for a day for all day. If you take a look at the school feeding program, uh, the meals are cooked in, sometimes in the homes of these uh, caterers. Is it not possible to do so? And served under trees, under very unhygienic uh, uh, conditions. Is that what we want to implement even at the secondary school level? Is that what we want to introduce at the, at the secondary school level? No. Government must admit that, look, even the 400 million budget that we have allocated for the free senior high school, the question that begs for answer up to date, is that 400 million Ghana cities for a term or a year? Because the budget in which the 400 million Ghana cities was captured would expire on 31st of December 2017. And so we're not too sure about whether that 400 million would be for just the first term. But it sure for, we have for a budget only, in November for only For only the first year. That was sure captured. No, no. So for 2017. No, we're, no, we're even expecting uh, 2018 no, budget no, to be ready no, yes, in no, November. No, when you talk yes. about supplementary so, budget, mm. you, have, you, have, you have come to Parliament already with sub supplementary, supplementary but budget. The main budget we what we can for only do now is to do a budget for 2018, mm. right. which the minister will present to, parli to parliament in November. in November. The question that we have not answered up to now is that the 400 million that we have allocated for the free senior high school is, 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 is too vague. Is it for a term or the whole year? Right. And mind you, and All mind right. you, oh, 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 you wrap have, up. You oh, no, but you, you, you wrap up. We are wrapping up the conversation. You had your time. So we are not too sure. Mm. Schools will resume just next week, eleventh yeah. eleventh of September. Mm. Today, as we speak, we have not even transferred one CD. Once on the very day that schools will resume, headmasters will need some some funds to run the school. We have not even established accounts to transfer just a CD, even as we speak today. One CD has not been transferred to any school across the length and breadth of this country. These okay. are some of the challenges that we are right. we are drawing your attention to. And when we say some of these things, we see our critics oh, are against the mischief. I don't have a problem. You see, if we are dealing with only MPP kids, fine, we could have just left you to deal with your own stock. But you are dealing with the future of this country. Right. So okay. Right. 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 I'm grateful. Right. 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 Let Nana come in briefly. Yes. Right. We're, we're wrapping up. For, for what he just said, mm. if you are even changing the wording in what his statement, mm. what would have been wrong if he had said, oh, um, we should try our best to make sure that the schools will have their money on time so that everything will be okay. Now, look at the statement. School are open next week. Mm. Even one city, one city you have not even sent to the school. But, but has money gone? No, 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 no. You don't get school. my point. You see, yeah, there, I, I, that is why I, I, I'm I telling you that there's a clear time. distinction between when you are criticizing with mischief. No, but, no, no, but if <laughs> and money, then when you are criticizing next week, money has not gone. <laughs> no, you don't get my point. No, for me, I'm not even yet. I've not, I've, I don't even know what he's talking about because yesterday, okay. we, the uh, chance, head of chance, head of chance said everything is set.
Okay. Yesterday, oh, head oh, of charts oh, okay. on on one on Nana one B. program. No, I'm coming. Come, come. Secondly, you are, you are in government. I'm so telling you, this this hurt me. This hurt me. Turn. I mean, mm. just two things. This yeah. hurt me. Turn. Number one, I have seen, and then you rightly mentioned that the MMDCs mm. they are supposed to supervise any catering service. Make sure go there have a tax force that all these food are being cooked under highly hygienic. Conditions. But it was what so about that one is already catered. Students will eat. The infrastructure. Because some day schools don't the have that the infrastructure. Oh, but you know what? Sometimes when you go there, we can use the this infrastructure. You can just even put it. I mean, you can have a shed or, or for this. I yeah. mean, come on. Yeah. And when we and, and, and some of these, no, I don't have a problem. And lastly, 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 then lastly, then we'll lastly, we're, lastly, we're, we're being mischievous. lastly, bright, lastly, bright. You say we are being mischievous. I mentioned this, and then you also said it. Every policy has a starting point. Now, if third year, second years are not benefiting. It is because of the negative campaign it's not waged. It's, it's not if. It's not if. <laughs> no, if. Oh, right. is it? If okay, when we were, when we were all oh, on top of the hour, why, why did I am grateful. But not as I said, I, I am grateful. Stuff. I'll continue to say. Uh, yes, Abdulaziz oh, Mohammed is a member of parliament for the Mion constituency, a member of the NDC. Henry Nanabuache is a deputy national service director, a member of the NPP. Gentlemen, I'm grateful. Free SHS is here. I'm grateful. He will not be chased. He will not be chased at MP for school use again. All right. Now he will reach an answer. Okay. All right. Okay. It's common fun. For those of you who said I did you part of the show, why is he grateful for getting to us? Keep your comments coming. Let's step on the break. Sports is up next. The MPs are the greatest. Hi, good morning, and it's time to bring you all the latest in the world of sports right here on New Day. My name is Thierry Nyan. Let's get started. And, uh, of course, the talking point has always been, in the last few days, the Black Stars. Two points from their first three games of the qualifiers has left the team on just two points and in danger of missing out on the fourth straight World Cup appearance. But midfielder Christina Chu is hoping they can salvage the little left of a disappointing campaign. We don't care about uh, what will happen, but we have something to fight for, which is the nation of Ghana. So we are going there to fight for the nation. We are all motivated because this is what uh, we do for, for a living, and this is our career, this is our work. And uh, the nation is supporting Ghana, so uh, we cannot make any decisions for ourselves. We are just going there to, to work hard, knowing that Ghana is behind the blasters. So we are going to fight for the nation. Christian, do you feel like there's still a chance? Uh, there are a lot of uh, surprises in football. And uh, it's difficult, but nothing is impossible. So we just go there and then try to win. Can you give us a fair idea of the sort of mood that was in the dressing room after the game? Uh, you guys left the stadium to booze. It's never happened in Kumasi before. What did you make of just the way this level of disappointment that people came with? Yeah, uh, we the players, uh, we understand that uh, at this point we let the nation down. But also, uh, we also want the nation to know that we were fighting for them and uh, it didn't go well for for all of us, so uh, we need them to support us in the next game and uh, we see what will happen for the future. So Christina just says that they were doing everything possible to make sure they make the nation proud. Things didn't go according to plan. We should not uh, stop supporting them. This is the time that we need to be supporting them as true fans of their football. But uh, remember, the Black Stars have arrived in uh, Congo, Brazzaville. And uh, that game is later at 2.30 p.m. later today. So let's just wait for that. Now, uh, that game coming up really is not of interest to a lot of Ghana football fans. People have lost interest in the Black Stars, especially after that particular match day against Congo last Friday and the results that came with it. But captain of the side, Asam Wajan, says that the Black Stars will be hoping to secure a very, very good result to win back some trust. We have to make sure we overcome the critics. Um, that is the most important thing because, you know, we have to just lift up our game and then make sure we come up with a positive result, you know, as in win. You know, we have to just go there and then make sure we make people happy because uh, we do agree people are not happy with, with our performance. Um, it happens in football, you know, um, we, have to be, we have to be real here, it happens. 
So we have to just go there, make sure we make people happy, you know, to make sure they forget about the um, game against uh, Congo at home. All right, so that is it then with the captain. But we are not done with the Black Stars because the technical director of the Ghana Football Association, Oti Akenting, has said that the Black Stars really um, are not at fault and that we need to understand the fact that they are uh, under a new uh, technical team. So it's going to take a bit, a bit of a while to get them to gel together, to understand the philosophy, strategies and tactics of this technical team. Kwesi Apia needs your support, according to the GFA technical director. There were so many positives in the game, just as we had some negatives. Because here Pierre told you that he's also having a, a double tier. You are thinking about results and then at the same time talking about uh, development. We are building a team. He said he's building a team. So why don't we be a little bit patient and then look at it and then see whether those he, use, he, he wants to use uh, will be able to help Ghana today and then tomorrow. That is, that is very, very important to me as a technical director. And then as a technical director, we believe that we definitely need the, the, the developmental aspect. So if you look at the developmental aspect, we have, it's, 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 it's on course, wonderfully on course. What we need to do is that we should try as much as possible to win our matches. So that if there is a slip from anywhere, then we probably will cash in. All right, so that's exactly how the narrative goes. If we are able to win all our games and hope for a slip in some of the other, uh, you know, games, then maybe Ghana are going to be having a chance of making it to the 2018 uh, World Cup in Russia. But Ghana are going to be next uh, playing Congo, and that game, like I told you earlier, is at 2.30 p.m., and that will be in Brazzaville, and that's in Group E. The same group houses Egypt and Uganda, and, uh, no, you know, one of these two teams is very likely to top this particular group and make it through to the World Cup. That is Egypt and Uganda. You're going to have seven points. Egypt have six points. If there is a draw, it means it's going to be eight points and seven points respectively, which means that it opens a group up at least uh, just it gives uh, Ghana a bit of a chance to make it to the next stage. Should any of these sides win, it's over for the Black Stars. All right, so let's see. Um, Burkina Faso also in Group D will be coming up against Senegal and this is another top of the table clash between uh, you know the sides in Group D. And of course in Group C, Ivory Coast already beat Gabon last Friday by three, goes to one. They'll be looking to uh, repeat a similar scoreline. Mali lost massively, uh, you know, uh, so they'll be looking to at least uh, seek some revenge against Morocco. Morocco are led by Heavy Renard and uh, he is uh, topping that particular group at the moment. Ivory Coast are topping. He's second, actually. So let's see exactly what Heavy Renard will be able to do with Morocco. But in Group B, it's very interesting there because Nigeria have all but sealed their position at the 2018 World Cup with a draw in Cameroon last night. Cameroon have lost out on the tournament. They Remember, the defending champions of the African Cup of Nations. Algeria and Zambia in that same group, they do not have any chance of making it to the World Cup. So that's it from, uh, you know, the qualifiers. When you look at that particular one, let's go straight to some other football. To be very happy. Marcus Rashford with a delicious goal over there and an assist to another delicious goal by Eric Dyer. But that's exactly where we bring an end to the sports bulletin. Thanks for sticking with me. Ya Fusulabi. We'll bring you some more sports news later on Media Live. I'll return later on News 360. Keep watching TV3. We'll bring you the best. You are here. Sinatch. The whole music. And at, at this point, when you start playing the music like that, you're wondering where the gleaming collection bowls are so you can go and drop your seed offering, which is it. But what brings me to the next conversation we want to have on New Day this morning. Churches are springing up everywhere. Key actors, choreographers, praise leaders, pastors, instrumentalists, musicians, whichever it is, are there. You can imagine the number of people, because a bigger chunk of Ghana's population are Christians, the number of people that these people influence. Now the big question is, if they don't have the right or requisite qualification to be able to impact them positively, 
think about the ripple effect. Let's talk to Pastor Jonas Odoi and Pastor uh, Cher D. Winkley, all the way from U.S. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? You look I'm dashing. Wonderful. Thank you. And Thank you Osofo as well. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. So we're going to talk about the tribe of Judah camp, which seeks to put together the key actors within the church setup, musicians, vocalists, whichever of them. Why would you want to put people together? Tell me. It's so important that um, in the gospel music industry um, or in the churches, churches hardly fund their musicians to go on training. Mm. And um, in, in the year 2007, you know, uh, we had the vision mm. of bringing the music ministers in the church to offer them both biblical mm. and technical training mm. so that they can be more efficient mm. you know sometimes they say that let's 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 depend so much on the holy spirit and not really rehearse and learn okay. mm. and you see a lot of people depending on the holy spirit then the music is that bad mm. but we want to make sure that there is a balance such that you will be able to to have a good music that is spirit filled you know, because false balance itself is no good. Right. Yeah. It isn't. It isn't good. I'm looking at the capacity of these key actors, choreographers, singers, instrumentalists, and every one of them. Mm -hmm. it, it tends to be like everybody goes into the church, they identify a certain gifting that they have, and they start playing and influencing people. So children in Sunday school, they start training them, whether they are qualified or not, they start tossing them in. Is that a dangerous phenomenon? Well, I think it's, um, I wouldn't say dangerous. I think, you know, when you have a natural gift, you have a natural talent and people see it and they notice it, you know, that there is a desire for young people, children, mm -hmm. um, to operate in their gifts and their talents. Right. But I think on the hills of what Pastor Jonas was saying, a lot of times people do that without proper training. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't go to a job just because you can do the job mm -hmm. without training. Mm -hmm. And so it's necessary, uh, even in church and in praise and worship and whatever capacity that a person serves mm -hmm. in, to have the training to back up their gift and their talent so that you can be more efficient, so that people can gain from you what mm. they need to gain from Th you. There's a pro proper uh, and a popular quote that I've heard pastors use all the time that God calls the unqualified and makes them qualified. Mm -hmm. So even if you are not qualified and God has called you, you can train children, you can start preaching, you can start teaching, which is why we have a lot of uh, people parading themselves as pastors and all of that. Is that not uh, it? I believe... Um, you know, the call of God comes upon you even before you are born. Mm. Right. But then, no matter how you are called, it's important you are trained. Right. You must be harnessed into what God wants you to be. Mm. Right. And the same right. way you are in the church and you, you, you will have found a natural talent of singing in you. And, and the church, you know, is doing well when it comes to these things because a lot of the youth and children mm. find their way there to be able to express themselves. Mm. But you see, if you don't give them the requisite training right. to right. deliver well, mm. it becomes Wh sort whose of a job noise. is it to give the requisite training? Well, that it's the responsibility of the church okay. to make sure that its musicians are trained. Right. But we realize that the church is lacking in that. Therefore, from 2007, mm. we decided that for this gap to be um, this this gap to be bridged, mm. it was important that the, the, the Christiandom mm. create sort of a cantonment, a camp, right. where we can bring all of them together mm. and give them this training. Though it's a short time, okay. the training we are offering there from vocal training, mm. from voice management right. to sound management mm. to everything, mm. okay, makes them equipped to be able to deliver better. A lot of churches are wasting so much money on instrument because they don't even train their sound engineers to have a, a, a maintenance schedule. Right. Yeah. So they buy equipment as often as ever. Mm. Some of them don't even know where and what equipment to, to buy. Absolutely. You get me? So in mm. this training mm. is where we, we, we are able mm. to open, you know, open their eyes into some of these things mm. and how to manage an effective music department. With, 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 it doesn't matter how big or how small your budget is. Mm. You should be able to have an efficient music department. Mm. I've I th yes, right. I also, share, share. I also think that it's important to have a good community of people around you right. because even if you don't have, you know, we talk about sound engineers mm -hmm. and all of these different people and mm -hmm. those aspects, mm -hmm. but to have uh, parents and mentors and okay. people around mm -hmm. you who see that, right. um, 
that can cultivate that, you know, to have predecessors that can pour into you mm -hmm. to help you see what you don't see about yourself. Because mm -hmm. no child will see 10 years from now, or right. if the Lord allows, okay. that he or she will be that. Okay. You know, it takes somebody who has that, that preceding vision to be able to impart into you. So I think that's important it, to have it, as well. Let's come to a very dicey issue. We'll, we'll be wrapping up around this time. Um, so you want to train the people, and there's a controversial issue of people who are trained must earn a certain wage or salary. <laughs> and the question of <laughs> instrumentalists and musicians in church not being paid, and pastors assume that, oh, they're doing the work of God, so uh, they should do it for free, pro bono. What do you think about it, Chet? I think that when the should, Lord should, calls... Should instrumentalists be paid in church for playing therapeutic music? That, I think it depends on the church's budget. I think mm -hmm. when you have, we have a mentality of people that are instrumentalists and they want, I'm not doing anything unless I get paid. Right. Therein lies the problem because okay. the gift that God gives you is for the service of the kingdom. And but the that's service their of the job. People. That's the only job they do. Don't they deserve to be paid? I think that they do, but I think that the mindset right. that I'm not doing anything unless mm -hmm. I am to be paid. And I think that to be to be trained in those areas are mm -hmm. necessary because if we're talking about in forms of payment, mm -hmm. then we need to pay for forms of payment that right. are professional. Okay. Not paying while you're learning okay. to be professional. Okay. <laughs> you don't be but an uh, apprentice. Yeah. Okay. But Mr. Jonas. You know, it's 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 I don't want the church churches to come at me, but let okay. me say this. The gift is for the service of God. Right. That's number right. one. Right. Number two, you don't want your musicians to go home hungry. Okay. Right. The gift must have an environment to be able to grow well. Mm. Yeah. To be able the, the gift must be nurtured. Okay. Okay. And in nurturing it, you create the enabling environment. Mm. Mm -hmm. You give them the necessary training. Okay. You don't let them go hungry. Right. Because right. so if they go right. hungry, you are killing the gift. Right. Yeah. And you're killing the spirit. And the yeah. spirit behind it, yeah. Let, let's talk about the tribe of Judah Camp 2017. Where is it happening? It's happening at the Laboni Senior High School. Okay. It's going to be a cantonment for intensive studies okay. in music. Like I told you, we have vocal training. Okay. We have um, band sessions. Okay. We have, and we've brought all these people from the U.S., right. you know, a lot of um, um, resource people okay. who themselves are, are notable um, record um, 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 recording artists, right. mm. um, voice coaches, right. you know, mm. uh, people who work with bands and all that, mm. and they are coming to impact. Right. So we want to tell everybody that from tomorrow, right. All roads leads to the Laboni Senior High School. Right. Register and, and everybody can, can partake. And, in and everybody can. Is partake. it a sleepover camp? It's a sleepover okay. camp, but we are also registering those who don't want to sleep but want to come for the lectures and go home. Okay, I see. And it starts when? Uh, at what what time does uh, it start? Tomorrow. 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 Yes. tomorrow. Yes, is the day. Tomorrow but what time does morning it start? registration starts. Ten a.m. First session is on. Mm. Interesting. Awesome. And, and for all of you out there, you should you should get some training. I got some training before I started playing. Keeper, so I didn't just have to jam all the chords together and <laughs> confuse the pastor. There you yeah. go. But thank you very much, Pastor Shaw. Thank Shelley, you. Thank grateful. you. My pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you. And to you as well, Pastor yes. Jonas Odoi. Thank We're you. grateful. And, and keep the good work up. Uh, let's keep encouraging the people and keep sorting them. Look of you. We'll return after this break to wrap up the show here on New Day. Stay with us. Yeah. Welcome back. So we're just wrapping up the show and Johnny has his birthday food oh, or meal please. prepared for him <laughs> on set. That one you have to take and eat well, well, this, this one, we're talking about <laughs> eating Ghana, wearing Ghana and, and, and living Ghana. So yep. this is jollof. And uh, my big jollof. sister, Harriet Hughes, would usually make it like that. That's something she made earlier. Mm. And nice yeah, packaging. So, and that's uh, what you're going to enjoy for your I birthday. I hope that I get some. She said that she was making it in large quantities so I can serve it at the Independence Square <laughs> later today at 1 p.m. So <laughs> That sounds like you're oh. celebrating, I mean, Day of Charity It's as a well. grand feast. Mm. It's a grand really? feast at the well. Independence Square. That's what the Square. party is? Yeah. It will be okay. on Google Play Store. Oh, yeah, Johnny, that go go to stop. <laughs> but today is International Day of Charity as it well, is. so do something good to another person now. Oh, that's charitable. Yes. Yeah. But, oh, but okay. speaking of International September. Day of Charity, mm -hmm. I think that, look, um, beyond people who genuinely need help, some right. have become greedy. Yeah. So people are no longer needy, some yeah. have become very They're greedy. They're abusing. But they go, they go children after now begging on yes. the streets of Accra. Yes. Um, for me, it's a dangerous thing because 
it will get to a point where they will not beg again, mm -hmm. but they would now wield knives and guns and other weapons to come to you and take things yeah. from yeah. you. And you see how forcefully they come to your, your and knock on your either. windshield and your windows and ask mm -hmm. you for, for things. And I think that we need mm -hmm. to pay attention. We've been talking about it for a long time. Mm -hmm. But child beggars are all over the place we now. Do. All do. over. Charlie, so they, 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 all today's in International Charity Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody should just remember me and do some charity. Like what? Well, you have to say what exactly you see, you're looking out. Today, uh, today is my birthday. If somebody food. wants food. to do charity. But Johnny said they'll be serving food. Yes. That so I'll do charity for you. You need to come. Uh, that's 1 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Your stomach can't wait till then. this morning? <laughs> okay, so Alima may be watching. She will do charity. Go uh, there and just tell her, Alima, it's international day of charity. Okay. Do something. So, so, so this is it. Uh, I saw this on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> now, Sade says, well, we start talking and I tell you I have a boyfriend. So you stop texting. Are you guys even serious? I thought this sounds like Harriet speaking. <laughs> and uh, Selassie comes and says, when the watcher Selassie says it's finished, do you stay and help her wash the bowls or what? <laughs> You said there is no chance for me now. But if she says she has a boyfriend, does it mean it's finished? No. Uh, it just means you have a role to play in her life, like what? a friend, but you can't take that role. So you should be in the queue. Uh, I have, so you don't, then it means you didn't go in for friendship. Have, you went in with a goal. I am yeah. laughing into the midweek. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good. I so see. earlier today, uh, we cut the, the bed, birthday cake. <laughs> Yes, Johnny, that's today. your mommy's birthday cake. No, you no, no it's that's, birthday, that's my birthday cake. Hey, exactly. um, yeah, so we cut it. Johnny, no. is that your mommy or your sugar mommy? No, my, my dad is dead, so I've inherited my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your sugar mommy by yeah, yes, extension. Yes, by extension, yeah. So we cut, we cut my cake there. And um, I'm a, this is what you have been hoping yes, to see. Yes, yeah, this, this is, is what it. we put yeah. up. I was, ima fine just, just imagine what I was taking out of my pocket. Um, Some dollars. Uh, no, banana, banana for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, those who are laughing that it was a, a car duster, you see, you, you see, see the tussles at the end of yeah. it. It can't yeah. be a car duster. Cafe and a car duster. Okay. Why, why, are they play, why are they playing? Why are they playing? Because that's where you are going. So you don't, you don't have, have any game. comments? Some comments? I have, I have a couple of them, but Harriet says we need to go. So oh, do we? uh, we're going. Oh. Uh, there's a gentleman who sent us a message from I said Emmanuel Amokwando. He says he's from one of the Gumwa towns. He says his 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 uh, passed his exam, his BC, mm. but he's not being uh, placed placed yet. And he's he's begging for us to mm. assist him with that okay. one. Emmanuel, we've heard your uh, claims. We'll get it to the appropriate authority and get you. But this is one more time to the Ministry of Education, the Ghana Education Service. Please, there are people who are genuinely stranded out there. Yeah. Help them at least. Those in the villages. Ma uh, make it my bed. Get access to NLIT. Yes. And those, make it your birthday. Uh, make it my birthday gift and help people don't yeah. don't frustrate them see the moment you start frustrating them like that they will start learning how to use fair and foul means and if they learn it from jhs they go shs university then we are all corrupt you can never fight corrupt so please make the process transparent clean free and fair so everybody who is qualified can go through and benefit from it we're all Ghanaians. okay yeah, on that note mm. happy birthday again to you mm. and goodbye guys we'll see you same time tomorrow mm. On uh, Wednesday. Our Tuesday is done. We're leaving you with ladder. <laughs> so if you don't have and one, look, boogie. look for one and start climbing. You'll see us tomorrow on the ladder. <laughs> have a great okay, Tuesday. Day, and when you're buying pizza, uh, in yeah. order to get one uh, extra, rem remember me. Remember Johnny, at least. It's okay. his birthday. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs>